Are you ready for some basketball? Hey, we're in Sioux. In, yeah, uh, George Silverack. <laughs> I was going to say Siouxland Conference, but it's not even that. Nope, nope. We're on a Thursday night here, and we're playing a War Eagle Conference uh, game here. Harris Lake Park is in town tonight, and so wish everybody a happy new year. And then we had about a two-week break here from basketball, and uh, I think everybody's excited to get back into the swing of uh, playing basketball again. So it's all good. It's Craig Johnson alongside John Shook, and I've got a new piece of gear here I want to show you. You've got your own volume now for your earphones. I can turn it down oh, yeah. for you by yourself right on that knob. Yep, sounds good to me right so now. So right there is good. And i got my own knob here so I don't have to listen to it as loud as you want it. Okay. I know you like the loud rock and roll music. Oh, yeah, yeah so I like the loud rock and roll actually, music. Actually, I was right in the middle of that pep band, and it's loud yeah. over there. Oh, yeah, i seen you playing over there. The pep band sounded good, but it sounds better now. So uh, we're live. We're on the air here at the DLR Radio. And so Harris Lake Park, we want to welcome them to the uh, gym here at uh, Little Rock, George Little Rock. And the Mustangs have taken on the uh, Harris Lake Park Wolves. The girls game starts here at 6 o'clock. We're starting 15 minutes earlier because War Eagle always starts at 6 o'clock. And the Harris Lake Park girls come into the, tonight's contest with two wins and six losses. And the George Little Rock girls have two wins and eight losses. So pretty uh, evenly matched teams here. So we're hoping for a, a good, exciting game here between the woes we got one minute before the starting lineups here now so girls are coming and taking the last minute uh, instructions from the coaches here now and uh, 52 seconds on the clock and we'll be ready to go with uh, basketball girls basketball again at the george little rock mustang gym here Indeed, indeed, and we are ready for it. That's been a feels like it was last year since we did that. <laughs> it does. It seems like a year ago. So, uh, yep. Well, you'll We're, be able to uh, if you go to the GLR radio page, you'll be able to watch or listen, but don't do both. No, because it'll sound like we're on there twice, and it'll sound confusing. So oh, really? Okay. Do one or the other, but not both. And the pep band is rocking out the school song. 15 seconds before starting lineups, and it'll be all yours, John. Okay. So, um, did you have a good Christmas and New Year's there, Craig? I sure did. Well, that's great. We'll so talk, we'll talk more about it. Yeah. Uh, next year. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, no, this <laughs> no, year. No, we this year start, sometime. So better start talking about it this year. Yep. So. Harris Lake Park girls have a new coach this year, I know, and so here we go with the starting lineups. And for the Wolves, starting lineup, uh, senior number 31, Blake Gunderson. And a senior number 35, Avery Hikens. And uh, a junior, number 25, Taylor Meyer. And another junior, number 23, Madison Brevik. And a junior, number 15, Jasmine Vale. They're coached by Andy Irwin and assisted by Carla Kyle. For the George Little Rock Mustangs, wearing number one, Kayla Gherkin. And wearing number four for the Mustangs is Michaela Johnson. And a junior wearing number 14 is Courtney Dykstra. And a senior wearing number 20, Mackenzie Berg. And another senior wearing number 23, Winona Steenhoven. And they're coached by Tyler Glanzer and assisted by Levi Judge. And now, folks, our national anthem by the George Little Rock Mustang Pep Band.
And a very nice job indeed oh. by our GLR pep band. Very good, very good job. So it's nice to hear the uh, pep band again here uh, at the, playing the national anthem, and so we're glad they're on board again too. First games of the season, they wasn't around to, until a little bit later, was they? Right, it was uh, after the Christmas concert that they began pep oh. banding, and then uh, really right before Christmas break, they had an alumni pep band night, and tonight is one more. Yes. Alumni pep band. I've seen you over there playing in the pep I, uh, band. You must be an alumni here, huh? I am. Uh, I didn't think you graduated there. I am, well, I didn't, but I I borrowed a horn. Oh, okay. So hey, uh, <laughs> we're, we're ready to play basketball here, and uh, Wolves come away with the opening tip there. So you got a program there? I do. And okay. I, I just noticed Isabel is joining us with an iPad. There's a three oh, yes. ball on the way, too strong, and it's rebounded underneath. Strong rebound off the glass, no good, and into the hands of, of Kayla Gerken. Kayla Gerken, and now quickly ahead over to Berg there. Gerken passes back to Berg on the far right side with a two-point shot, a long two, and no good there. Now the Wolves come quickly ahead, and Michaela Johnson hustled to get the ball, but it's going to be a foul on Michaela Johnson. That's Michaela Johnson's first foul there, trying to catch up and get that steal there away, but picked up a foul there. So we're scoreless here. It's uh, 7.25 on the clock here. So there's a shot up from the elbow. Oh, number nice 15. Shot. Number 15. Vale, that's Vale. Jasmine Vale. Yep, that's how they pronounce that. Vale, I talked to the coach there. So right. Michaela Johnson here with the ball now. Passed over to Gherkin, the far left side. Over to Berg. Berg looking to get it inside. Pass it back to Steenoven. Steenoven cutting through the lane, and uh, Johnson uh, could not... Get it, ball to her. Oh, and a nice little tip and a steal there by number 15, yep. Vale. Vale took that right away, and now here's number 2-3. Unbelievable, Madison Brevik. Moving it across the timeline. Now she takes it and goes off the glass. No good, the rebound. Rebounded by Michaela Johnson, had it in her hands there, and I think she probably got fouled there. And then that's number 35, Avery Hikens with the rebound. She's on her way to the free throw line after that foul by Michaela Johnson. Oh, that's Michaela's second foul in the night already. Yep, Hikens free throw up no good. Hikens ready to shoot their second free throw and off the front of the rim, rebounded in the hands of uh, Dale. Dale puts one up, no good. Now quickly ahead. Here comes Post. Post, nice move to the bucket and two points there for Mackenzie Post there. Nice move there. So, Ayers Lake Park with the ball now, getting guarded heavily there by our Mustang gals. Uh, it looks like a 2 3 zone, our Mustang gals playing. There's a three ball on the way, and it's no good. Rebound, Rebound. to Winona Steenhoven. Yep, Steenhoven bringing the ball ahead, quickly passes it ahead to Post. Post cross court pass over to Gherkin. Berg looked at a three, decided against it. Berg double teamed and it's stolen yeah. away. HLP just relentless on defense there. Brevik now underneath. Ball to Vale. Vale dishing out to the side to Brevik. Now top of the key, 25. That shot's no good. Rebound Rebounded. to Winona again. Steenoven. Steenoven quickly ahead, but just too hard a pass there and out of the reach of Gherkin, so uh, Wolves had the ball back again. So Taylor Meyer now inside to Vale over to the right side. A three ball, good if it goes, no good. Rebound to Berg over the back by... Number two five, I believe. Yep. It's gonna be Meyer. Is that on Meyer? I'm not sure if he said two five or three, three five. five. Three five. So that'd be Hikens. Avery Hikens. I thought it could have been two five because she was closer to the mm -hmm. action, but we got we're quite a ways away we're from We're a the long play. ways. That's, that's not the retina display on no. from where I'm sitting here. Right. So oh and another steal ball. there, but it tipped out of bounds by the Harris Lake Park Wolves girl there, Brevik. And so it will still be in the possession of our Mustang girls here now. So Mackenzie Aarons into the game here. <clears throat> Steen open. There's another, another pass. bad pass there now. And taken away again there by number 23, Brevik. And take it away quickly again by Gherkin. Gherkin double drill. Oh, no, it's going to be a foul. 
Yeah, that's a foul on, on Blake uh, Gunderson. Yep. Blake Gunderson with her uh, first foul of the night. Two team fouls apiece here now. So uh, Grace Elser just checking in for the uh, Wolves. So Mustangs now on offense here now, trying to set something up here. Passes over to uh, Gherkin. Gherkin, a nice pass there to uh, Dykstra, but uh, was knocked out of bounds there by a Harris Lake Park Wolves gal there. Number 25, Breivik. Ball inbounds there. Mustangs in control now of the ball. Ball oh, stolen, stolen away. away again there by Breivik. That's Taylor Meyer with her quick quick hand. And the and we time oh, out on the floor for coach head coach Andy Irwin for the Harris Lake Park Wolves. A 30-second timeout. So I just, uh, yeah, I got a little bit here. I wanted to just tell you that the game tonight here is sponsored by uh, Glenn and Darcy Eben, Gary and Viney Kruger, and Aaron and Jennifer Grieve, and Dennis and Laura Nightingale. They all called me, wanted to sponsor the game here tonight. Fantastic. Very good. Yep. We appreciate it. It's 2-2, two to two, 431 left in the first period. And, uh, yes, the answer is yes. Yes, huh? I did have a good Christmas break. How about yourself? A real good Christmas break, yep. Paper along. I can't take stairs. Okay. Uh, so, yep. Down to the concession stand or something. I don't have anything. Hey, yep. Unless you want one of these. Tear, tear one of this out. Go to the, just go get one off the desk out there. <laughs> yeah, we're just working out some technical difficulties yep. here. The, uh, so we're the back. iPad is full, John. All the oh. stats we've caught already have filled that thing up to the rim, and it will not work for her. So. Okay, so, well, we're back live here with the uh, ooh, ball is off of uh, Harris Lake Park there, number 25, Taylor Meyer. So it'll belong to the Mustangs here now. Low scoring affair here, 2-2 two to two with 4.26 to play here. I'm going to do something for our... Uh, our uh, visitors. Dykstra passes the ball over to uh, Gherkin. A nice pass to, to Dykstra again. Dykstra lost the handle on the ball and picked up by number 23. Oh, and now we're going to get a foul, I believe, on Post. Post or Dykstra. We'll see which one they're going to pull it on. Dykstra, I guess. Dykstra picks up her first foul of the night. Both of them playing good defense there, but Dykstra must have reached in there and picked up the foul. Just about a steal there by Dykstra. And an easy layup there by number 15, Vale. Vale puts in an easy shot there. Four points for Vale now. Referees are calling it close tonight. We have a foul on number 25 is uh, Taylor Meyer. Meyer picks up her first foul of the night. 4-2 to our score here in favor of the Harris Lake Park Wolves. So we got our cameraman to the right, and he's got a camera girl and a camera girl to his right. It's yep. like ESPN up here. ESPN is right. So There's McKenna Aarons with the ball. McKenna looked at a shot, passed it back out to Gherkin. Now we're to Steenoven. Post with a three-pointer up and no good off the back of the rim. And that ball is knocked out of bounds by Jill Nightingale. So it'll be Wolves' ball here now. So Harris Lake Park bringing it across the timeline. Easily broke the press and a nice easy shot there by number 35, Hikens. Yeah, a good bucket for Avery Hikens. Yeah, passed ahead there to her. She's just under the bucket and puts her right in. So nice pass there to Post from uh, Steenhoven and now over to Jill Nightingale. Lost the handle on her, but Mustangs regain control. Post with a three-pointer up again and good. Count it for Post there now. Five to six, our score here. Mustangs trail by one point here. 3.02 to go. HLP breaking the press. Ooh, Look at the hustle, hustle by from Post. Post. Yeah. Nearly caused a turnover. Just It'll a, be HLP ball, but a good hustle from McKenzie Post. Just getting over there, getting a hand on that. Almost yeah. caused a turnover. So under three minutes now in the first period. Veil over to the right side, now over to Brevik. 
Top of the key. That's oh, an and just about a steal, pass. but yeah. And we got a jump ball they're going to call there, and a lot of hustle there by Gherkin to cause yep. that jump ball, and that will uh, be favor the uh, Mustangs. Oh, we have a timeout. The George Little Rock Mustangs, a 30 second timeout to Tyler Glenzer. Wants to talk it over. You're listening to Mustang Basketball on the GLR Radio Network. You're listening to Mustang Basketball on the GLR Radio Network. Now, who sounded more convincing, me or that guy on the radio? That guy on the radio. I'm not kidding. He was he very was good. convincing. Guys. He was good. Five to six, our score here. Mustangs trail by one point here now. Each team has three fouls there, team fouls, so... Uh, Nobody in the bonus here yet. Gherkin with a ball. Cross-court pass over to Post. Post puts up another three and bounces up. No good. And they're going to be a foul on number fifth. Somebody on Nightingale, I think. Yeah, Nightingale. Yeah, is Jill got underneath there and got mixed up in that uh, yep. rebound. Jill Nightingale picks up her first foul of the night. Just oh, quickly break. ahead. Hikens. And now it's going to be a foul on Aaron's there. And Hikins will go to the line to shoot two on that deal. Mustang girls are a little slow in getting back on defense right here now. And uh, Harris Lake Park uh, getting some easy shots here. And uh, Hikins' uh, free throw is up and good. Makes our score all tight. It's no, it's seven to five in favor of the Wolves. And now it's eight to five as she sinks the other free throw there. Eight to five, our score favor of the Wolves here. Now showing full court pressure here, the Wolves are. So Mustangs are uh, struggling a little bit to get the ball across the timeline. Finally. Good job by tracking that down there for McKenna Aaron. And Post with another three, right? And count it for Post. She likes that spot. Yep, she's from the same spot. She's been shooting threes there, and she got two of them made already. Eight to eight, our score now. Oh, and they're going to be a blocking foul on Gherkin. Yep, Gherkin had the right idea, but just wasn't there quite on time to nope. set that pick there. So the next team foul on the Mustangs will put the Harris Lake Park into the bonus. So Dykstra coming in, as well as uh, Driesen and also Emily Jensen. Minute 57 left in the first period. We're all tied up at eight points apiece. Pass inside, now out around the corner to Brevik. Now back to the top of the key. Madison Brevik around the right side, now underneath to number 31. Ball stolen away by the Mustangs. Here Kenna comes. Aarons takes it. Get, oh, oh, what a oh, move. Double dribble, though. Oh, she. I just noticed uh, that Dale girl, number 15, why uh, she's taller than... Uh, Driesen, and I think Driesen is 5'10", or so, 5'10". Yeah, and she's pretty tall. Oh, there's a, should have been a travel, but it's ball taken steal. away by Post, and Post puts a little five-foot shot in, but no good. Here's Lake Park comes away with a rebound. So Brevik ahead to Gunderson on the right wing. Pass inside Vail. to Vale. That is... Uh, Number 51, I don't have her on the roster, but she's in the lineup, and that shot is up good by Blake Gunderson. Blake Gunderson with the uh, shot there, makes their score 10 to 8 now. Here's Lake Park showing full court pressure here now. Ooh, uh, luckily Dykstra run that Dijkstra. one down, and Post going in. Travel on Post there, another turnover there on our Mustang Gals. Yeah, Post got her idea kind of interrupted, and yeah. I think she's had to stretch that pivot foot out a little bit. Mustang showing pressure here, but HLP breaks it fairly oh. reasonably. There's another pass underneath and a, and a foul on the shot, and Vale scores and is fouled, I think, by Dykstra. I would say Dykstra yep. was right there. Yes, Her Dykstra. second foul makes it 12 to 8. And so Vale will be at the line to shoot one here. Free throw was no good there. Rebounded in the hands of Dykstra, but she lost control of it, and now 
Vale puts up another shot, and now Post comes away with the rebound there. A shot was way short, so Post they got the and oh, uh, kind of a bad pass there by Post. Uh, Driesen could not hang on to it, so uh, Steenhoven checking in now for Dykstra. So a turnover on the Harris Lake Park Wolves. So Post getting ready to put the ball in play right in front of the uh, Harris Lake Park bench here now. Passes it in to uh, Steenhoven. Steenhoven driving in the lane, passes back out to Jensen. Jensen puts the shot up, no good. And Driesen gets the rebound and going to put it back up. And she got fouled. So Driesen will be at the line to shoot two. And that foul is on 31, Blake Gunderson, her second foul of the night. So Madison Driesen at the line to shoot two. First one's up and rolls in and out. No good. Number 13 checking in. Skyler Forbes checking in for, uh, and uh, Vale taking a seat there for the uh, Harris Lake Park Wolves. Driesen's second free throw is up and off the front of the rim and rebounded in the hands of number 21, which is um, Grace Elser. Now, oh, we have a jump ball, and that should favor the Harris Lake Park. As yep. the possession Elser arrow. was driving the right side, and Post went over and created the tie-up. 5.7 on the clock. 12-8 so our score. HLP will have to work quickly. They'll take the entry pass. They're going to run out of time here. Three but seconds. Vail nope. takes Vail it. Vail takes it in and puts a shot up, and no good. And that's the end of one quarter of play. Harris Lake Park 12, George Little Rock Mustangs 8. We'll be back right after this. I want to thank Northwest Iowa Green and Crane for being our second quarter sponsor here, okay. along with our full game sponsors who you announced earlier. Yep, right. So, uh, yeah, Post has got the only uh, baskets here for uh, George Little Rock Mustang. She's got the eight points. It's 12 to 8. We're going here. Oh, and a bad throw there by number 31. Um, That's Gunderson. Gunderson, that yep. Just miscalculated the angle. We were just talking here at the break time. Uh, Harris Lake Park got two <laughs> numbers on the on the roster, uh, roster and they're not so in numerical order besides. N- no, right. So it's kind of hard to keep track sometimes of the <laughs> Harris Lake Park girls. And uh, there's Michaela to jo- Michaela. Michaela's got it on the Michaela left Johnson way. passed over to Berg. Berg thought about driving the baseline, got cut off there by Vale. Dreesen with a great catch. Berg into the free throw lane and travel there on Mackenzie Berg. So just a whole minute gone here almost in the second period. And no score yet. Uh, Same score as we ended up in the first quarter. Vale with the ball. Passes it over to uh, number 31, Gunderson. Just playing yep. catch around, looking for their shot. Yep. They get it Look, inside to Vail. Vail. Well a... defended, and the ball rattles out. And HLP didn't put a big hustle on, and so it is Mustang basketball. I thought she had a chance for that 
ball yeah. over there, the HLP player, but she kind of gave up on it. Kind of got out of her. It must have been the wrong angle for her to track it yep. down. Michaela so. Johnson now with the ball passes over to Driesen, way at the top of the uh, Mustang center circle. Berg now with the ball on the far right side, passes back to Berg. Now over to Michaela Johnson. Michaela passes it in. Now Michaela passes clear cross court over to Berg. Defense quickly gets on the Mustangs when they have that cross court pass. Why the defense? Yeah, they're very they... quick to react. Yeah, so, steal uh, that time by the HLP Wolves. They'll get it inside to Hikins, and her shot is no good. Strong rebound from Winona, and Ma- Michaela will take it across the timeline. Back, back over to Michaela. Now over to uh, Berg again. Michaela Berg looked it over, but handed it back to Michaela, top of the key. Back to Driesen there now. Driesen passes over to uh, Johnson again. Back to Driesen. Mustang girls are looking to get the ball inside there now, and they just have uh, no avail. The defense of the 2-3 zone. strong zone defense yeah. indeed, yeah. You just, uh, you just identified the cause of the and, uh, problem seems, there. It seems like the Harris Lake Park girls got their hands up, and so it's just kind of hard to pass that ball in there. There's a little shot by uh, Steenhoven, a two-pointer from the free throw line, so count that for Steenhoven. And a travel on the subsequent possession. HLP turned it over, so Mustangs will have a chance to tie it this time down. We've got McKenzie Post back, in back into the Berg. lineup. Berg set taking a seat there. So 5.20 on the clock. Mustangs trailing 12-10. to 10. Post will then do the entry pass. Now over Michaela's to Johnson with a three-pointer three off the rim. No good there. Nice shot there by Johnson, but just would not fall. And stepped out of bounds there, number 31, yes, Blake good Gunderson. Yes, defense by, by the Mustang gals there. Caused her to run right out of bounds. So in front of the scores bench, Post puts it in play again. Pass it into Gherkin. Now Post back to Gherkin on the far left side. There's Post, that. that was her three-point shot area, but she got. There we go. There's Post good with a three. Movement, and it's and up count and it good. there. That gives the Mustangs probably their first lead yep. of the game, 13-12. Vail, ball stolen by Michaela Johnson. Boy, a lot of hustle there by Michaela Johnson to steal that. Here comes Gherkin all the way. All the way. Puts her in and no good there. And Driesen comes Driesen away with a rebound. With a great rebound. <laughs> Good hustle by and these Lady there goes Mustangs. Post with and another the three. No oh, and it good. hangs on the rim. No good. Winona took a swat at that rebound, but Vale, just a little <laughs> taller, controlled it and now hands it off to, is that Brevik or is that Taylor Meyer? Meyer. And now the left side shot. No good. Rebound to Skyler Forbes, and they'll reset. Ball inside. Knock it Vail, out. three-second call on yes. Vale. She was in there long enough to heat up a marshmallow for s'mores. <laughs> I God. believe it, yeah. I've seen marshmallows burn in that amount of time. <laughs> yeah, she was in there a long time, but he finally caught her for he caught her seven for, seconds. <laughs> for the seven-second violation. Mustangs now in their front court with a 13-12 lead. Four minutes left now. Oh, Pat. Now it's going to be a foul on uh, Harris Lake Park. Number 25 is Taylor Meyer. Boy, good hustle from Taylor yep. Meyer, but that's her got second. herself tangled up with, with Post over there. Her second foul of the night. So halfway to go here in the second period. So both these teams playing a very strategic form of basketball. There's a long oh, pass over nice the top, pa- but out of reach of Winona. Winona. Could not handle it. There was a good idea there and a good pass by Gherkin there, but. Winona just could not hang on to it and off her fingertips. Here's Gunderson now. Nobody picked her up. She'll try the three. No good. And the rebound to McKenna Aarons on the weak side. McKenna across the timeline, 334 left in this half. Aarons over to Post. Post throws it into. Uh, oh, what no, a good pass. Nice pass, pass to, to Post to Driesen. Driesen finishes it off with two points. Good spacing there from Driesen and had a good place to get that catch. Oh, oh going to get a Post's foul get on reached. Post. Reach in foul. That's the first foul on McKenzie Post. Our score 15 to 12 here. Favor of the Mustang girls. <laughs> I got to tell you, that post is going to surprise you once in a while with those yep. quick hands. Breathing at the line. But she got called for that one that time. Got caught with her hand in the cookie jar. Yes, she did. Here's so. a one on one. The first one, no good. Rebounded to Winona. 
Quickly quick ahead break. to Post. Post going to drive in all the way. Nope. Pulls Puts up, up a little eight-foot jumper and no good there, but off of uh, Two Mustangs. Steenhoven, I think. so. Rattled it around out of bounds, and Will. it'll be... Lake Park ball. Wolves Harris Lake with Park. the ball. The Lady Wolves. Bring it across the timeline. The ball's into the pep band and out of bounds. Yep, just about went in the tuba there. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. <laughs> I have to blow a low note to get that ball back out. So three minutes to go here. Mustangs in control now of the ball. Post brings it across the division line. Passes over to Gherkin. Far right side. Gherkin back to Post. Way in the corner. Cross court pass over to Aarons. Oh, ball slipped out of the hands of Dykstra, but regained control. Here's the yep. left side to Aarons. Mustangs Aaron. content to just wait for their shot yep. here. Yeah, they are. It's been effective thus far. They've got the lead here, 15-12. Two and a half minutes left to go in the half. Reach in there by number 25. That's yes. going to be Taylor Meyer with her third foul of the night, I believe. Boy, if you're right, that's, that's tough. Yep. Taylor Meyer, one of their... Starting five, she comes out yep. and is replaced by Grace Elser. Two and a half minutes to go, 15 12 the score. Mustangs get it inbound. A uh, long three. three ball from Post, it's off the rim, no good. And rebound from Vale. Vale ahead. Gunderson Ooh. tipped it to herself, and then, oh, a nice pass. Over to number 33, Rachel Martin, who put the ball in. 15-14. Now and Post shot takes by it on Post, a quick no good there. Transition ball, Great. no good by the Mustangs. So here comes Lake Park. Brevik now off to Gunderson, driving. Oh, Has it swiped from behind. Post nice runs it down. Ahead. Post is going to go all the way with it. A nice oh. nice move by Post. And, oh, she got oh. fouled. Fouled on the way to the basket. I good was, job from... McKenzie Post. Post. And I thought, you know what, they was going to call a traveling on her, and I thought, boy, don't do it because she did not travel. <laughs> oh, that was a great ball control possession there for the Mustangs. So Post at the line to shoot one-on-one. And she got the front end, so it's 16-14. We're sub two minutes, John, just 113 seconds to go here in this first half. Boy, Second not- one on the way, no good. Rebound to Courtney Dykstra, and they'll reset. Oh, swiped away by Brevik. Got a hand on it. HLP working on the press. They'll get it across the timeline. Gunderson will turn around and take it through the tail of the Mustangs. Now over to the left side. Now they're at the top of the key. Skyler Forbes over to Blake Gunderson. Pass underneath. They'll go back out to the elbow and a travel Travel call. So Mustangs with the two-point lead here, 123 to go in the second quarter. Driesen checking back in. Coming in for Courtney Dykstra. Yep. And Driesen really has been a good rebounding force for the Mustangs here in this first half. Well, she matches up a little better there with the Vail girl, you know, the tall Vail girl. A little bit taller, and she's very good spacing. Here's a nice pass ahead. Yep. Should have sure. drove in, and there's a three-pointer yeah. again by Post, and count it there. Yeah, good thinking from Dreesen. She didn't think she could uh, make the move to the basket, so she calmly passed it out to the uh, perimeter shooter in Post, oh, and, and Post took it in rhythm, yep. up and good. But now in transition, Mustangs foul. It's Winona on the other end, isn't it? I believe, yep, it's Winona. So Vale will be at the line to shoot two. Quick transition move there by the That's one of those first foul. Vale bricks the first one, but she'll have another one here to cut into the lead with the clock stopped at one minute. And no, no good, and a good rebound from Winona. So here comes Mustang Gals across the timeline again there. Quickly head over there to uh, Jensen. I think that's... Kayla Gherkin kind of caught in the corner yep. now. McKenna Aarons. McKenna Aarons. Pivot. Now they'll get it Pass around it the back. top to Dreesen. Dreesen now to the right side again. Inside out. Now to post left side. Post will skip pass it to Aarons. Top of the key now to Winona. Just taking their seconds. time with it. They want to get a good shot off. And a good oh, pass. pass. Good pass by the... Winona to Dreesen. And, oh. <laughs> yep. 
Driesen. That's solid basketball there by the Lady Mustangs. And Driesen got fouled on that shot, so she'll be at the line to shoot, too. That foul is on number 31, Blake Gunderson. That's her third foul, too. A little bit of foul trouble here in the first half. For yes, the, for the Wolves. The Lady Wolves. Driesen's free throws up and good there. Biggest lead of the night for the Mustangs now. Five point. 20 to 14. Five point lead here. Or six point. Yeah, 20 just to 14. Went to six. Yep. And now she'll make it seven with this made free throw. Well, you got a lot of confidence, and here goes Driesen with her second one and count it. Yes. So, I was watching it on replay. Okay. <laughs> 21 Good shot 14. From Madison. Brevik over to the right side. Shot no good and rebound by Driesen. Driesen again there in there getting them rebounds. Nicely done. 15 seconds now. Mustangs will hold for one shot here, yep. presumably. Tyler. They'll get, get Madison over here to the right side. She's well defended. Driesen, three seconds. Got to shoot, got to shoot, Got to put it up. And it's and too no late. no shot. So after one half of play, George Little Rock Mustangs, 21. Harris Lake Park Wolves, 14. A 10-minute intermission here, and we'll be right back here, I guess. So We will. Well, with any luck, and if the creek don't rise, we're going to have Dr. Kevin Rang in our midst here. Okay. He's going to talk Genius Week with you, John. So well, that's good. Talk about Yeah, that's an upgrade, but it's all filled up. It don't work anymore. <laughs> he, he, he bought so, one with the two gigabytes gonna, in, and you need about 25 gigabytes to be here on the GLR radio. I'm going to yeah. hand the horn here to, to uh, Principal Kevin Rang. Here you go. Well, welcome to the GLR Radio Network here, Kevin. I'll tell you what, we're glad to get rid of that guy out of here. Yeah, he's going to go play in the band. <laughs> oh, go play in the band. I don't know. He never passed band when he was in high school, I think. Yeah, that's why he's got to come back and do it tonight. <laughs> got to come back. And I don't know if Mrs. Poor Bear is going to pass it neither yet. Well, I'm going to watch here. I, mean, I bet yeah. she scolds him, gives him, gives him the look. You know, he steals horns from kids so he can play. He don't even have a horn, never did have one. <laughs> look at him go over there. It's something else. Huh? No kidding. So we got a pretty exciting girls game going on here, and our uh, Mustang oh, yeah. girls leading here by uh, seven. Yeah. So I uh, hope they can keep that up. The girls uh, need a win here once tonight. Yeah, and so, they do. They yep, do. They do. So they've well, been any... working hard. It's been exciting basketball. They just oh. lost some tough games and, the, yep. and momentum shifts, and and it's been fun. I like the uh, the identity of this team, up and down, playing hard. They're a really scrappy team. So yep. I, I've enjoyed watching them. And the Driesen girl come in there and did a good job on that. Uh, uh, what you call it, the Vale girl. Yeah. She's kind of tall, you know, yeah. there, but uh, Driesen's right about her same height, well, you know. And, so. and that Driesen girl's strong. Strong. I mean, she got a lot a of rebounds girl. and stuff. Yep. To, yep. So that kind of helped out, too. So, But anyway, uh, is it this week or next week? Starting? No, we started today. Genius, oh, you started? Genius Week was kicked off today. I tell you what, some exciting things happened at the high school. You know, this is our fourth year doing Genius Week, and uh, never to really get tired of it. I, the kids come up with something new or rebuild on what they're doing because we've got one group uh, that's in their third year. They, they, We used to call them the My Mama Wouldn't Give Me a Dog group because <laughs> oh, yeah. they came up with this idea because their moms wouldn't let them have a dog, and they love duck hunting. They shoot ducks. They land in the middle of the pond. How do I get my duck? So they came up with this retrieval uh, method. Uh, the first year and it was really cool. Yeah. And the next year they said, "Hey, we're going to improve on this," and came up with a whole new model and a whole new attachment that's a lot more efficient. 
And this year they're going and went to a couple of people that uh, do patents for suit and gays. And they oh, said, okay. hey, you should patent this. So they're investigating how to patent this wow. duck retrieval boat uh, retrieval uh, unit that they've got going. So it's the third year. They, uh, I think it's Monday they told me. They finally got a hold of a uh, official patent lawyer in Sioux Falls. Uh, about the third one they called, and they, they found out it costs a lot of money to even talk to these people. Yeah. They found one. Uh, they called Minneapolis, the home office. The home office says they'll talk to you for free. Oh, yeah. So they're going up to talk to the patent uh, lawyer to find out exactly what the process is and, and what they have to do. So that's kind of been a cool three-year project, yeah. and they just keep getting bigger and better. That, and, that's and amazing. They've had a couple of people say, yeah, you know, you patent this. There's nothing else out there. They've been on the net. You know, there's no retrieval method other than wading in or yep. using your dog. Yeah. And so they started out, hey, my mama wouldn't give me a dog to, so hey, the That's how that group. got started. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Isn't that something now if that gets patent for them kids and oh. stuff and uh, they'll have more money than you and they, me? They, they'll own the school. So <laughs> They own the school. <laughs> they'll forget about you and me. Yeah, you know? that's it will right. be yep. Hollywood and uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. champagne, I suppose. That's better than winning the lottery probably <laughs> for them. <laughs> absolutely. So it's been quite a learning process. So, and, and that's something with Genius Week, you know, we're really pounded. It, it's, it's about taking ownership of your own learning. How many kids you get involved in this Genius Week? Hey, 100%. So there's oh, uh, 100, all of them. 139 this year, I oh, think. Oh, the whole high school gets the involved. The whole high school. Wow. Yeah. You know, and the, the freshmen, you know, just like this group, they start out with something, you know, relatively simple. But I have got a group of freshmen that... Uh, Again, it goes with the hunting theme, and that's not my purpose tonight, but no. they, they're, they're duck blinds. They've never been able to find anything that would work for them, so they're designing and building their own. And, wow. I mean, you know, they've got a long ways today welding some lightweight material together, and then they're going to wrap it and make it work, and, and we'll see what comes of that. Yeah. So so are these kids, are they coming, they're in groups, you know? Yeah, they picked their own groups, okay. and, it, and it's by, we call it by passion. You know, like the the duck group, uh, you know, they like hunting, and uh, yeah. I don't have a dog. They like hunting. Uh, we've got a group of young ladies that, uh, with our weight room, our weight room is really designed for us, uh, for men. Oh, yeah. And the workout program is designed for men. So they are visiting D1 uh, uh, programs in the Midwest here and talking to them, going visiting some in Sioux Falls coming back here and they're going to design a workout for our female athletes oh yeah well that sounds good absolutely yeah. you know so you know they're learning a lot about hey there's a difference yes between men and women and how we have to work out to get stronger faster uh and they don't necessarily want to get bigger like we do but yeah you know yeah, so, right yeah so you know they're doing a lot of that stuff we had a group uh every year there seems to be this this group that uh you know, really cares a lot about people, so they, you know, really looking at poverty in, in Lyon County, uh, and had the opportunity to go to a, a, a soup kitchen in, in Sioux Falls today, and it was eye-opening. These, these yeah. three young ladies came back going, you know, we didn't realize that, you know, this is what the way this thing is, right. works. And, yep, and that, that's a good experience it, for anybody to go there, ac- adults absolutely. or kids or anybody, you know. You know yeah. Especially, we, you know, we all think about that at Christmas time, about what. giving to everybody, but after Christmas, you know, they're going, hey, these people are still there. Yep. And so it was a wide, wide eye-opening experience for them, and and uh, they're going to do some stuff in the county yet, but uh, it's a great learning opportunity. Yeah, great. Hey, my question is this. Uh, so these kids form their own group. Is there somebody that uh, is, uh, what do you mean, sponsors them or yeah. guides them along, uh, teachers and so on? Or yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, the kids, you know, form their groups, and then – I'm going to say we, we lay all the groups out, and the teachers pick the ones they think they can mentor, oh, okay. facilitate. Something that they might be interested yeah, in, that absolutely. teacher or whatever, yeah. You know, and Mr. Judge goes, nobody works harder than this week. Yeah. Because when you say kids take over their own learning, you think the teachers are, are sitting back, but, hey, the teachers are thinking and working harder than the kids just to try to stay a half a step ahead of them. Yeah, right. You know, and asking those hard questions, you've Sometimes got to have kids, an answer. Kids are smarter than the yeah. teachers or the principals. Yeah, right? but absolutely. They, yeah, absolutely. Right. Yeah, so it's going all the time. and yeah, But, yeah, we've got a teacher with every two or three groups, and, you know, oh, they're yeah. kind of in areas that they think they either have some abs- absent- or abs- expertise or they're passionate about themselves. Oh, yes. Yeah. 
Yeah, I bet the kids really have fun at that and enjoy it. And it, it just uh, brings out something, I bet you, in the kids that you didn't even think was there oh, in a yeah. couple of kids. You know, when you think about, you know, the critical thinking aspect of everything, the, the, every one of these projects, it's something you really can't teach no. and measure in school. Right. But you sit there and watch these kids and listen to them as they ask each other questions. What do you think about this? What do you think about that? You know, you're going, all right, this is what school should be like every day. Yep. But yeah. it's hard to duplicate that, you know, when you got rows and desks. And, and Yeah, I know. And it teaches them how to yeah, work together absolutely. with other people, don't it? And you that's know? one of the top skills, you know, that the businesses have come out and said in Iowa that critical thinking and collaboration, being able to work on your own yep. or work with other people. And then monitor yourself, you know. Yep. These guys have to manage their own time for three days. Is this, is this kind of really something like a DECA program? I mean, in a way. Well, yeah, yeah. You know, we've kind of stolen things from a lot of different places. Yeah. But DECA, absolutely. Yeah, you don't have DECA here. No, in we, no. we don't. We don't. No. But, yeah, if you looked at DECA 10 years ago, what they were doing as a club, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah that's what I always yeah. think about it as. Because I yeah. know I had my daughter was teaching DECA, you know, in yeah. Spencer. And then. She teaches at uh, play, uh, Janesville, Iowa. Yeah. She's in the DECA program yep. there, too. And uh, so, yeah. yeah. It's cool stuff. Yeah, it sure is, you know. So, well, we got about 25 uh, seconds yeah. to go here to the second half. And so, uh, we appreciate you coming up and talking, yeah. Kevin. So, John, I appreciate yeah, happy it. New Year. Yes, and so, it's going to be a great one. Always oh, nice visiting with one. you, even yes. if you don't you don't holler at me so much anymore. No well, I'm you're, sitting down there. You're up here, and you got your headphones on, so you're not going to hear me anyway. I, I wouldn't hear you anyway. No, <laughs> that's right. So we had some good times together. Oh, we and, did. We yep. did. So you get to meet a lot of different people and uh, friends, and uh, so. Yes. I always consider you as a friend of mine, and Absolutely. so thanks thanks for coming up, Kevin, and talking to oh, us. No and, problem. Yep. So. Uh, Maybe you'll come up to a Friday night again tomorrow night and uh, speak a little more about that. Wow, was yeah. that an interview? I could hear it from over there in the <laughs> yeah, band. I bet you could. So, Good yeah. stuff, good stuff. We had a good time up here. So, oh, and a quick shot up and good Was that from by, number 2-5. Yep, that's going to be Taylor Meyer, Meyer quickly ahead and scores for HLP. That's Meyer's uh, first bucket of the night. So we're Winona just, took it the other way and... Shot off the glass, no good. And here we are back to live action, a double dribble on the way to the basket. Boy, that band was loud over there. I'll tell you, they I, was good. And it really I picked up when, when you got picked up your horn. I'll tell I, you it what. It really got good after I put the horn in the way yep. in we the was, basket again. Me and Rang said you never passed a band in high school and you didn't even no, have a horn. Had, and you're stealing a horn from the other kids. Oh, there's a steal by uh, Harris Lake of Park. A steal. Look oh, on the travel. <laughs> oh, my Madison Brevik. So we had a real fight in school when I was in school. Oh, yeah. The football coach wanted me to be in the band, and the band director <laughs> wanted me to play basketball. Oh, yeah. yeah so, it was, so what did you do? It was a, it was a mess. <laughs> what did you do, skip school then, or what? So <laughs> I came once every three days oh, yeah. to school, yeah. and I, I found out how to play trumpet. Well, that's good. At least you know how to do something. Yeah. Oh, and a shot there, a two-pointer there by uh, Bale. Up and good. Dale with eight points so far tonight here now. 21-18, our score now. Four unanswered points from HLP. Yeah, Mustangs are going to have to get some uh, buckets here now again to stay ahead of this game here. Pass over to uh, Post. Post over to uh, Michaela Johnson. Now into uh, Dykstra. Dykstra puts a shot up. In and out. No good. And a foul on Gherkin there on the rebound. So that's Gherkin's second foul of the night here now. 21-18, our score, 6.36 to go in the third quarter. Yeah, we had a good time talking to Mr. Rang there. A lot of cool projects going on <laughs> oh, this week. Oh, man, you, you can't believe it. It's unreal. There's some kids going to put on a, uh, going for a, what you call it, a patent oh, on something. Yeah. Did you hear about that? I wouldn't doubt it. I'll tell you what, if they get that through the patent, they'll be richer than you and me and Kevin Rang put together. Well, we'll get them to sponsor the GLR Radio Network <laughs> yeah, after the patent right. goes through. So we're back at basketball here. Michaela Johnson passes over to Gherkin in the far right corner. Michaela now looking for an open girl, passes clear across court to Post. Post over to Gherkin in the far left corner there now. And oh, a high, top of my, uh, just oh, too uh, high Michaela. a pass there for Michaela Johnson to handle. She tried to jump up and get it, but out of bounds here, so... Harris Lake Park with the ball here now. So Breedick with the ball over to uh, Meyer. 
Now underneath oh, the veil, a little veil. skip shot up and no good. And oh. rebound by the Mustangs, Michaela Johnson. Comes away with that rebound. Quickly ahead there to Post. Post going to drive all the way. What a move by Post. Oh, nice. What a move by Post here now. <laughs> nice basketball move there. Breaks the ice for the Mustangs in the second half here. 19 points already for Post in this game. There's Hale a little Gunderson. shot. No, no good. Rebounded there by Dykstra. Quickly ahead to Post. Post quickly over to nice. Michaela with a three-pointer nice and count play. it there. Good Michaela feed Johnson from, uh, with a three-pointer. Good feed from Post. Caught yep. Michaela in rhythm and that three-point shot as good as gold. 26-18 our score now. Mustangs leading here in the Mustangs. Oh, oh wide, wide open, open. Blake Gunderson with a good move underneath. Yeah. Good recognition there. Good pass by Vale. Vail. Good pass yep. by Vale. Yep. And so makes it 26-20. Oh. Pass over to, now Dykstra going to rub the baseline. Passes back out to Johnson. Over to Post. Back over to Gherkin. Gherkin driving in the lane. Puts a shot up and no good. And out of bounds. Harris Last Lake by HLP. Hart. Tried to good save it. Good hustle from Gherkin. The shot was no good. and Yeah, tried to get the rebound. She fell down on the floor there. But uh, Gherkin ready to get up and put the ball in play. Over to uh, Steenhoven. Oh, what Dykstra. a shot. If that goes, that's tremendous yes, basketball. It... <laughs> <laughs> she threw that to Dykstra before she turned around. She caught it, yep. and Dykstra did, and put it up a nice and a three, shooter's roll. Three-pointer for Dykstra there, too. What a play. Vale inside, well defended. Vale is tough. Mustangs come away with the rebound off the miss. Vale had a chance at it, but well defended by the Lady Mustangs. Play inside and to Steenhoven Winona. puts it up, oh. no good. Rebound, ooh, just almost Michaela Johnson from just Michaela. about. Nice pass ahead. That's Taylor oh, that's Meyer. That's going to be a it? foul on Dykstra. That's going to be her third foul, I believe. Meyer with a good move to the basket, but the so. shot no good. The foul will be on uh, Dykstra. That's her third, and that's going to put Taylor Meyer at the line for two. So Dreesen's getting ready to check in. Mm, up and good for Taylor Meyer. Dreesen coming in for uh, Dykstra. And Michaela and Johnson Mc come out. Who come in there? McKenna Aarons. Oh, in McKenna Aarons. Okay. 29 21, 406 to go here. Free throws up and good there for Meyer. 29 22, our score now. Mustangs lead by seven. Oh, oh ball, ball tipped. tipped away. Let it go. Yep. And so it still belongs what? to the Mustangs. <laughs> Post uh, thought, let it go. I can't get there. and Almost so. ran into a pedestrian going to her seat there. But yep. No one hurt. So Post with the ball now. Looking to get it inside there. Dribbling out at the right top. Pass it over to Gherkin. Gherkin. Pass over to Winona. Now cross court to Aarons. Aarons puts up a three. No good. Ball ahead to Meyer. Meyer cut off. Brevik. Oh, and it's going to be a foul. By post, but she'll be called for the contact. Yeah. Mackenzie Post picked up her second foul, so that will put, is that Meyer now at the line? Yes. Is that Brevik? Or is it? I think it might be Brevik. I can't see, see it the for number. sure, but shot and up free good. throw is good. Yeah, it's Brevik. It's Brevik, okay. 29-23, our score. Brevik with the chance to score another point here on the free throw. And way short, don't even hit the rim. So that will it's just ball, right? be automatically go over to the Mustang girls. Number uh, 13, Skylar Forbes checking in for the Harris Lake Park Wolves girls. So 3.30 here <laughs> to go, third period. These two women are talking all the time hey, over here. There, there's gusts I, up to 120 ooh, words a second over there. Yep. Here's a pass ahead to Brevik. Shot no off the glass. No good. Too Rebounded strong. there by Post. Post Has gains a... control of the ball. Passes it ahead to Winona. Now over in the hands of uh, Gherkin. Pass over to uh, Aarons. Back over to Winona. Oh, and there's That's a nice a good little look there shot by. And Winona took it away once, tries it again. She's going to get whistled and now this time. Now going to get a foul. Number 23 is Winona. Going to get whistled for that That's contact there. That's her second there. foul of the night. Six-point lead for the Mustang girls, 29-23. 2.56 to go in the third quarter. Boy, I don't know. Uh, 
I know uh, I kind of missed the basketball, but I, I don't know if I missed you, Craig. But yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> Hope stepped out of bounds there. Winona, Winona did. Oh, yep. one toe on the line. Nice rebound there by Winona, but stepped on the end line there. So it'll be HLP. Meyer will inbound to Vale out at the three-point arc. Ooh, post with boy, a steal. Post with nice. her hand in there. Here goes Post. She's going to go coast to coast all the way. What a move by oh, Post and, it goes and put up her and in. over and in. Yep. So nice tip and then a release. Yep. Durkin saw it, it developing, put it ahead for Post, and then Post closed the deal at the at the rim. 31-23 our score. Vale over top of oh, the defense. Oh, and there's going to be a, a foul on pass. Post, I believe. It's a great pass ahead to Hikens, and Hikens scores and is yep. fouled on the way to the shot by our own Mackenzie Post. So Post will come out and Jensen in her Jensen stead. Jensen coming in. So six-point lead here, 217 on the clock. Hikens free throw up and good. Three-point play for Hikens. Brings the lead to five, 31-26. Pass inside to Winona, nice little four-footer, but no it rattles good. out, no good. Here's HLP in transition. Oh. Gets it to, the ball's oh, blocked. Oh, and a nice block there by uh, Steenhoven. And a steal and from Jensen, but traveled on, the, oh, on the catch before she could turn the corner. Yep. 31-26. Exciting game here in the Mustang gym tonight here for our Mustang gals. 157 to go. Very good night for both of these teams. Very evenly matched. And yep. Mustangs currently in a five-point lead position here. Minute 54 to go. Hikens out to Gunderson. She'll drive Dale. the paint. Or and that's number 31. Blake Gunderson into the paint. And fouled on the way to the basket by Emily Jensen. Her first. Gunderson, Blake Gunderson at the line to shoot two. Oh, and gets wow. the shooter's roll off the heel of the rim. I thought it was going to bounce way back out again, but uh, hit and went right in. So Blake with her second free throw here is up and no good there. And that's going to be a foul on number 20. Nope. Lane violation. Oh, I'm lane violation. Yep, beforehand. one of the players was in, released too soon, so the over the back foul is nullified. Okay. And that'll put Gunderson at the line for another crack at it here. Or is that Hikens? Gunderson, free throw, gets the roll that That's time. That's Gunderson. So makes it a three point ball game. Tyler time. Glanzer wants a full timeout now, a 60 second timeout. We'll be back right after this. Thank you very much. Yeah, Northwest Iowa, green and cream. <clears throat> so here we are, back to live action. Minute 41 to go here in the third quarter. Gherkin with the ball here now. Passes over to Winona. Over to Aarons. Nice back. Oh, pass. nice pass there. And she got, gets it. Ooh. Rattles around the yeah. rim and does not go in. So Winona be at the line to shoot, too. She got fouled by number... Is it 35? Mm -hmm. It looks like they put 35 up on the board there. That's Avery Hikens. Second foul. Winona's free Steen throw. Old. No Off good. The front of the rim, no good. Three-point game here, 31-28. Steenhoven with her second try here on the free throw. That's up and no good again. Rebound. Anderson controls. Yep. Now Brevik across the timeline. 
Oh, Except stolen away over. there by uh, oh, nice. Gherkin, and now Gherkin quickly nice ahead and ahead. puts her in. Good steal. Was that Jensen that got the steal? Or? Yeah, Jensen got the steal yeah. and passed ahead to Gherkin, Good and Gherkin made the two-pointer there. Yep. It down. Gunderson right wing. Out of the corner, kind of trapped down the corner. Ball tipped off tipped the Tipped away foot. again. Here comes uh, Jensen, Jensen all the way, coast puts her up all the way. And coast all the way. And good. good. What a play from Emily yep. Jensen. Kind of an errant pass there off the foot of the HLP player last time down. And Jensen took it all the way to the house. Here's a ball in the corner, tipped out of bounds. Winona, quick hands, knocks it out. Michaela Johnson and Jill Tahart checking in. 35-28, our score, 42 seconds to go in the third quarter. Harris Lake Park with the ball. Here's uh, 37 seconds, pass, pass inside and out. Shot up and good from That's three. That's a three-pointer. By Rachel Martin, who hits from the far right corner. Brings us within four here, 25 seconds. Mustangs probably go for one shot here now with 20 seconds to go, eight team. Pass over pass. to Winona. Winona puts it up oh, and got fouled and counted for Winona. Stino won okay. a two-pointer. Why not? Why yep. wait for a one shot yep. when you got that play? Got and that right. Three-point play opportunity here. That's a foul on Hikens, her third. Yep. For HLP. Why well, wait, John, when you Winona got that backdoor Winona puts pass. a free throw up and good for Winona. That brings us back to a seven-point lead here, 38-31. 14 seconds now. Brevik with 10 as she crosses the timeline. They'll go to the left side. Pass inside. That shot from the free throw oh, line. Oh, and we're going to get a shot. foul. I think Kayla Gherkin will yep. be whistled for that one. Kayla Gherkin with her third foul of the night here now already. So that puts number 3-3 three, three, Martin at the line to shoot two. The front one of the two goes off the heel and the She'll have one more with the clock stop 5.9. If the Mustangs rebound this, they'll have to hustle. The rebound goes to Nightingale. Michaela Johnson ahead. It shot good if it goes from Jensen. No they good. had a good look. And it did not go, but that was just heads up basketball to even get a shot off. Yep, so after three quarters of play, Mustangs 38, Harris Lake Park Wolves 31. We'll be back right after this. Go Mustangs. That's our watchword here tonight. We're rooting for you, Lady Mustangs. You're doing well. 38-31, our score. Fourth period coming. And uh, eight minutes left in regulation. We got a good one here tonight, John. Yep. You said it earlier, an exciting basketball game here. Yep. I want to thank Dennis and Laura Nightingale, Aaron and Jennifer Grieve, Gary and Viney Kruger, and Glenn and Darcy Eben for bringing this here girls exciting game to you here tonight at George Lurock. Mustangs go in and, uh, or end enter the ball into their possession here. McKenzie post into the lineup. Michaela Johnson, Emily Jensen, Jill Nightingale, and Winona Steenhoven to start this fourth and final period of regulation for Ooh. the Mustangs. Over to Steenhoven now. Back over to uh, Aarons. Cross court pass over to post. Aarons with a three point, or Jensen yeah, rather Emily with a three pointer. Jensen drains the three as yep. an opener. So that's a 10-point lead now, the biggest of the night for the Mustangs. The ball oh, tipped. just about a steal just there by Steenhoven. Nice Turnaround move, move nice by move. Gunderson, but no good there. There's a nice rebound and a putback, no good. Oh, and maybe a jump brought ball. the ball down <laughs> below her shoulders, and that was a quick tie-up there by Blake Gunderson. It'll be HLP ball on the possession arrow, correct? Yep, Nightingale did a good job there in getting that rebound away there, but uh, got tied up. So here come the 
Wolves. There's the entry pass to Vale. She'll try it from the left side. Gets a friendly rattle and a roll, and she'll get the shot to fall. That's just a two-pointer. Two-pointer, 41-33. Michaela Johnson now with the ball. Passes it over to Post. Post uh, at the top of the circle. Back over to Michaela Johnson now. Back over to Post in the far corner there. Cross-court pass over to Aarons. Emily Jensen, Jensen on the rather, right side. Excuse me. Let's go. It's okay. There's a pass to Nightingale. Now to Jensen, who yep. just hit a three last time down. Oh, Post will take it inside an, the paint. Ooh, in and, in out, and out. out. No good, but what a, a nice steal one. from Winona. Nice pass underneath to Nightingale, who's fouled, fouled. Yep. on the way to that shot. So Nightingale will be at the line to shoot, too. And that foul is on 3-1. Blake Gunderson, her fourth foul. 41-33 our score. Clock stopped at 6.47. Jill free Nightingale's throw free throw is no. short there. I wanted it to be suspenseful. <laughs> it rattled off to the side. This one's going in, John, from Jill Nightingale. High arching free throw up and perfect. Well, you're so right. 42-33. Nightingale one for two that time down. 26 fouls already called in this game. <laughs> Quite a few. Ball ahead to Vail. Ball tipped oh, ball out of bounds. Ball tipped by Michaela Johnson. Good defense there, but uh, tipped the ball out of bounds. But could have been fives a, all around from the... Could have been an easy two points for Lake Park if Michaela wouldn't have tipped that one out of bounds. Mustangs oh. have a steal on the entry pass and a oh. save in from Winona. Landed in a heap, and but now she's up and running Jensen, by Jensen. transition to post. Post going to go all the way. Puts Takes one up, up and good nice. there for Post. That's about a 15-footer from the angle there. Yep, jump shot there, Post. Nice shot. Post got the hot hand tonight. She wants the ball. 44-33. Mustangs in control here. 6-12 to go. The pass inside to Vale. Now out again. Three and ball from Gunderson. No Rattles good. out. No good. Easy, Easy play. Easy rebound there by number 25. Taylor Meyer puts her in for two. It's a good weak side rebound for Meyer. Kind of watched the shot trajectory and knew where to be for that yep. rebound. Nice put back for Taylor Meyer. So Gherkin and Dykstra getting ready to check in on the next dead ball here now. Oh, Somehow to Na Nightingale, Jill Nightingale got it. but <laughs> shot a little too hard. Meyer pulls up from Good. inside the free throw line and makes a nice rattle home jumper. So Meyer getting hot here now in the fourth quarter there now. And that's Mustangs, a, an unforced error there, just yep, here threw comes, it out of bounds. Here comes Dykstra in, as well as Gherkin. 44-37. Five and a half minutes left to go in regulation here. Isabel's getting an earful from that lady. <laughs> <laughs> There's a steal by the Mustangs yeah. ahead. Oh, to Gherkin. Gherkin, nice now a pass, nice to, pass post. Over to Post. Post, nope, no good. Didn't finish it off. Yep, she had a, had a couple steps already when she caught that. And she took kind of an opposite foot step that you would normally take. Shot didn't go for her. HLP trying to get it around the horn to, to an up. open shooter. Myers got it from three. No good. Rebounded by... Gunderson, Gunderson on the back Rebounded side, no there good. by Steenhoven. Now Steenhoven ahead, quickly ahead. Easy. All alone, all alone is Post and puts Easy. it in for two points. Nice mm. pass by Gherkin way ahead to Post. That's and transition basketball like yep. we haven't seen for a while by these Lady Mustangs. Fantastic Oh, job. and a jump ball there. Michaela Johnson <laughs> tied her up as she come into the lane. Tied up uh, Taylor Meyer. So that should be Mustang ball, I think. It'll be Mustang ball on the possession arrow indeed. Yep. That's essentially a turnover on that hustle defense. Yep. Oh, ooh. Dangerous gotta make pass. Make some good passes there now, girls. Gherkin's yeah. going to have to hustle to get it ahead. Gets it to Post, post with a three-pointer. No good there. Just off the rim. The Lake ball is just a little shy. 4.20 to go. 46-37 our score. Oh, a travel call on the Harris Lake Park girls. I thought she had completely stopped moving. Yeah, I don't know, but referee saw something that uh, we didn't, I guess. Yep. She was leaning into it. Yep. Lean. Here's the pass into post. Post across the timeline. Over to Michaela Johnson now. Back over to Gherkin. Back to Michaela Johnson. 
There's and a nice Dykstra shot with a nice elbow. shot. No good. Rebounded by Michaela, or Air, Gherkin, rather. Kayla Gherkin Puts shot a shot no up good. and no good there, but a nice rebound there by Gherkin. Meyer, nice pass to Brevik. Off the glass, too strong. Meyer gets a hand taken away Her, from Dykstra. Here comes Michaela Johnson, coast to coast. Stops, puts the ball oh, up and nice. account it for Michaela Johnson. Nice ball control that yep. time down, Michaela. She just thought, I'm going to slow down, let the defense go by me, and she yep. put her in for two points. Good job, Smart indeed. move there by Michaela Johnson. Good job, indeed. 48-37, our score. Mustangs lead here by 11. You're listening to Mustang Basketball on the GLR Radio Network. Stay tuned for the Pizza Ranch Impact Player of the Game. Well, it's not always an easy job. That's why you give it to me. That's why I give it to you. Because I'm used to hard work. <laughs> <laughs> so are we choosing the Pizza Ranch Impact Player of the Game for both of these varsity games tonight? Yeah. I want to thank the Pizza Ranch and George for sponsoring that Pizza Ranch Impact Player. And the Impact Player is uh, not always the player with the most points or uh, anything like that, but nope. it's uh, who makes a significant impact for the team. That's sometimes it is the player with the most points. That's very true, too. But sometimes it's not an easy decision. We've had that's a lot true. of girls make a big impact on this game yep. thus far. So stay tuned at the end of this broadcast. Well, when I talked to Tyler at the halftime of the last game we had, I said each and every one of his girls are got something special to, you know, yeah. to do out here in the court. And so it's hard to pick a certain girl to be Pete's impact player of the game. Each one has their own talent. They certainly have played a balanced attack here tonight. Brevik ahead to Gunderson. Ball oh, a nice by steal by Winona and passes ahead to uh, Gherkin. Back over to Winona now. Winona into the front court. Passes over to uh, Gherkin. Michaela Johnson now over to Gherkin, the far right corner. <laughs> <laughs> Michaela on lady, the right side. Getting, lady next to me is getting a little excited here. And here's Post. Passes it out there to Dykstra going in for Oh, got the shot blocked. And, now, oh, a jump ball. Yep, that and, was a good heads-up play. Yeah, Dykstra played good defense after the ball got taken away from her and tied her up. So it's a jump ball, but it will be Harris Lake Park's ball here in the position arrow. Yep, good defense that time by HLP and then the tie-up by... Dykstra. 2.58 to go here in the fourth quarter, and there's going to be a foul on Michaela Johnson. Yep, Gunderson came down, and Michaela was right underneath where her feet needed to be. Yep, so that's Michaela's third foul tonight. So what's the count with players with three fouls? One, two, three, four. Three of them there, and they got five, uh, they got one with four fouls. Seven, Harris Lake got Park. seven players on the, in the game tonight. Yep, with three fouls. Four with... Three for the Mustangs and no three good. with three or more for the. Oh, and here comes Steenhoven away with that rebound. She fought hard in there for them rebound. tall girls there. McKenna Aarons controls the tempo, brings it across the timeline. She'll hand it off. I haven't been keeping track of uh, rebounds, but I think our girls out rebounded here oh, Lake Park tonight. They have done a great job on the rebounding. Front. And it ain't just one girl. I mean, nope. every one of our girls have fought hard to get the rebound out there. Noteworthy, certainly Madison Dreesen. Her contribution yes. on the rebounding end has been great. And I know that she's got at least one made basket. Aarons oh. takes it in, and she's fouled on the yep. way to the basket. But I think. Was she shooting? Yes. That's on 3-5. That's Hikens, and that'll be her fourth foul. So that's yep. the second player on, on the HLP lake. with four. Yep. So Aaron's uh, with a two-shot free throw here. Shot up and no good for the first one. Got a substitution in here now. We've got Martin back in, and... And, time uh, out. Hikins 30 second out. time out to uh, Harris Lake Park. We'll be right back after this from Security Savings Bank.
Special thanks to Security Savings Bank. Yes, for sponsoring the uh, Mustang basketball here. 48-37 here now. So. McKenna Aarons with a free throw on the way here in a moment. It is up, and Finesse puts it off the front of the rim. No good, and it'll be rebound to HLP. Brevik takes it across the timeline, brings it around to the right side. Now they'll swing it around to the top, pass inside, shot off the glass. Ooh, nice no. quick shot from Martin, and it's up and good for Rachel Martin. 48-39, ball's got to go in pretty soon. Five-second count on the Mustangs. And get the ball in play there for five seconds. Now is it so. customary for the official to count it? Yes. Like with a moving mm, hand yep. or anything? Yep, he's supposed to count it. And he counted five seconds. There's a shot from Gunderson Ooh. from three. Hits it and now makes it a six-point ball game. Mustangs have it into the front court with Kayla Gerken. Quickly ahead to Aaron's takes Aaron's put nice her in for finish. two. Right underneath the armpit yep. of the outstretched defender for HLP. 50 to steal. four. A steal there the by Winona. Winona. Winona's played a heck of a good game, too. Oh, now, oh, and that pass, pass just a little too high for Post to handle it. And so a turnover <laughs> there on the Mustangs. What? It was a perfect angle. Yes. I can see it from here. It went just over the outstretched arm of Mackenzie Post. 50. Mustangs with an eight point lead. Yep, 50 to 42. Favor the Mustang girls. Pass it inside, off the glass, no, no good No good for there. Martin. Dykstra with a rebound, got the ball taken away from her and putting back in by number 25, Taylor Meyer. Meyer with an advantageous basket here for HLP. Six point lead now here with a minute to go here. Post and Kayla Gherkin playing catch. Yep, there's there's gonna foul. be a foul. Meyer trying for the steal. Credit her with the effort. That's Meyer's fourth foul, so they got three girls with four fouls now. Still only five team fouls in the half, so there's no bonus yet for no bonus, no <clears> Mustangs. So Mustangs into the corner to Dykstra. We just don't have to uh, shoot, but they're going to foul us so that they put us at the line so they get a chance to get a rebound. That's the sixth team foul. They got one foul. Next one will Ooh. put it into the bonus, so they had two fouls to give. 50 to 44, 58 seconds to go in this game. Pass underneath. Dykstra passes back. Ooh, and a pass to Gherkin, but it's just out away. of bounds. There's no, <clears throat> no need for it. No need for that, right. <laughs> Take care of the ball, girls. So here's HLP trailing by six with the ball into their front court. Into the corner. There goes a three-pointer, and if that goes, it, no, but no. rebounded by Aaron's, Aaron's takes it away. Quickly Dykstra. ahead there to Dykstra. Dykstra going to go all the way. Puts one in for two points. That's a big finish for the Mustangs. Yep. Eight points again now. 52-44. Oh, what a catch from Gunderson. Nearly stolen. Shot up no, no good. good. And off the backside to rebound to number 2-5 again. That's Taylor Meyer. Meyer with another bucket. Mustangs release. Here post. goes Post. A nice. Oh, and there's going to be a foul on number 23. Brevik, Brevik, yeah, Brevik, Brevik comes through, tries to swipe that away, and Post was so far ahead that she'll work her way to the basket. Yep. Just 16 seconds left. And Post at contest. the line, yep, to shoot two here. First one's up and good there for Post. So she has really a chance to ice this one away here. Yep. She makes this, that'll make it just about academically infeasible for a for the or the Lady Wolves. No good there on for that free throw. 53-46, 13 seconds, 11. Mustangs defending well. The ball tipped into the corner. It'll be a jump ball. And that should favor Mustangs the Mustangs arrow. ball. Wow, with seven seconds to go, Mustang ball. That was a costly pass there by HLP. They didn't get it cleanly to their player. Somebody ought to just break it down deep here. There's a pass stolen and... Oh, but Driesen comes away it. with it. Passes ahead nice to pass Post. Ahead. Post. Post got hacked hard. Yep. She's down. Time expires, and Post holding looks like her, she knee. Hurt her knee. <laughs> tweaked her knee a little bit on the last wow. play of the game. She's uh, Boy, catching I, her breath. I think she's moving her knee. Okay. I think she just yeah she just uh, fell probably down on her knee. So that's the ball game here, 53 to 46. The teams are just waiting a minute to uh, shake, shake hands, hands in the middle. You know, Post, Post gets is up, up on her own power. 
Yep. They're going to go over to where she is and give a handshake. It's good sportsmanship from yep. the Lady Wolves. Thank you, Lady Wolves, for coming here. And uh, what a great ball game. We tip our hat to head coach Andy Irwin and assistant yep. coach Carla Kyle what a great, for bringing it over here. What a great game here tonight. 53 to 46, our final score here. So, uh, and you know what? I was thinking that seven-point lead actually did ice it away. She yep. hit that, and that put it out of reach academically. I don't know why I thought eight points would be better, <laughs> but it, it would. Yeah, it, it would. It yep. would be essentially the same. So yep. great ball game here for the Lady Mustangs. Tip our hat to them as well. Yep. And we'll be back after a few moments here with the Pizza Ranch Impact Player of the Game. Well, Pizza Ranch Impact Player of the Game, I'll let you do it, and then I'm going to head for the band. Okay, uh, we get Pizza Ranch Impact Players, Mackenzie Post with 25 points tonight. She had a hot hand, and uh, Kayla Gerken had two points, uh, McKenna Aarons two, Michaela Johnson five, a lot of a lot of good passes by Michaela, as well as by Kayla Gerken there, though, too, and Emily Jensen with five, Courtney Dykes with five points, Jill Nightingale with one, and uh, Winona Steenhoven with five, and... Uh, Madison Driesen had uh, three points, I guess, here. I uh, forgot to add that up there. But Madison come in and did a great job with rebounding, too. So all the girls played hard tonight. But we're going to give the Pizza Ranch Impact player to Mackenzie Post there with 25 points. For uh, the Wolves there, Blake Gunderson had eight points. Avery Heikus had seven points. Taylor Meyer, 12 points. Madison Brivik, uh, one point. And Vale had uh, 10 points. And Rachel Martin had seven points. So uh, congratulations, Mustang girls, on a nice victory here tonight, 53-46. to 46. Well, indeed, a very nice job by the uh, Lady Mustangs. Uh, I'm going to go join the band. Okay. I'll let you take it from here, whatever you want to do. If you want to put a mic up for the band. Yeah, go you can ahead. do that. And uh, I'll let you take the... Listeners for the next 15 minutes here. Okay, I think I'm going to step outside a little bit here, and so if their music is playing, be good. So if I come back, all I got to do is uh, do nothing. Okay.
So, are we on the air here? Well, anyway, we're two minutes and 21 seconds away from the boys' game here. No. Two oh seven to go here before our boys game. Let's see. Got a little information here. The Harris Lake Park boys come in here with three wins and five losses. They average fifty six points a game. The George Little Rock boys come in here with six wins and three losses. They're averaging sixty seven points a game for Harris Lake Park. They got uh, two uh, brothers there. Brett Sohn, fifteen. He's averaging fifteen and a half points a game. And Bubba Sohn is averaging 15 points a game. For George Little Rock, Lucas Nagel is averaging 12 and a half points. And Caleb Tahark is averaging 11. Josh Haken with 10 points. So uh, talked to uh, Jeff Sohn, the head coach, uh, earlier before the girls game ever started. And uh, so uh, he said uh, the War Eagle, is that's what they're in. They're, they're not too tough a conference. They have not played the Unity yet, so he didn't know anything about Unity Christian. But anyway, uh, we are... Um, just a minute away here from starting time here at uh, the boys game here. So the band is playing there. You got alumni there. So uh, Craig Johnson is over there um, in the band tonight playing a trumpet. So I don't think he ever played a trumpet before in his life, but he's trying to do something over there. I don't know if he can even read music. So it won't be long here. In about 30 seconds, we'll have the uh, starting lineups here for Harris Lake Park. Harris Lake Park uh, Wolves are coached by Jeff Sohn and assisted coach is Lane Gunderson. And our head coaches here for George Little Rock Mustangs is Greg DeBoer and Brian Lewenberger. They're assisted by Ed Jumback. So we want to thank these people for bringing us the boys' game here tonight. Um, we want to thank uh, Jim McConnell, Judy Shuck, Little Rock Community Foods, and Galen and Deb Tahark for sponsoring the boys' game here tonight. The Little Rock Community Foods there is in Little Rock there, and you can get all your groceries there, and they got a deli there. You can eat uh, different foods there, hamburgers and baked potatoes and uh, taco salad on Wednesday so make sure you go to Little Rock Community Foods there for if you want to eat out there so and so here's our starting lineups here for the Wolves number one Bubba Zone number 10 is Trevor Gunderson number 23 is Isaac Einan and number 33 I don't have 33 on there is 33 out yeah 24, Brett Zone. Okay. And now for the George Little Rock Mustangs, Jaden Malden. Number five, Lucas Nagel. Number 20, Caleb Johnson. Uh, Caleb DeHart. Number four, 12, Josh Haken. And number 23, Landon Jumback.
So we'll be ready to jump at center court here in mere moments. 32 minutes of regulation basketball, eight minute periods, four of them to come. They play 32 minutes in high school, in huh? In high school. And in, they play quarters. They play quarterly. Quarterly. So there's going to be the end of December before we get done every quarter of the year. Every quarter of the game is eight minutes. I thought the quarter was at quarterback in football. Yeah, they have that too. We're a little mixed up here. Hey, the band sounded good. Hey. The trumpet section it was is, really it good. It is really good, but it isn't because of my trumpet, I'll say that. Oh, yeah. Well, we're ready for the uh, tip-off here. Lucas Nagel jumping against number 13, Caleb Nix. And the Mustangs control the ball here. Josh Haken with the ball. Bringing it across the line here now. Over to uh, Caleb DeHark into uh, Malden. Back over to uh, Haken. Caleb going to drive the baseline, got cut off. Now passes into Lucas Nagel at the free throw line. Caleb driving the baseline, put her in for two points. Count two for Caleb to Hart. So here come the Wolves. They'll get it into the front court. Bubba Sohn, kind of the point guard here, takes it way out to the high court. He'll drive around the right side. Now he'll hand it off to Isaac Enan. Or is it Einan? Einan. Long eye or Lucas? It's Einan. Einan. Einan, okay. yep. Mm -hmm. Isaac Einan. Now again to Bubba Sohn. Sohn. Now to number 23, Isaac again. Isaac. Now to the right side. Is that Sohn? Brent Sohn, yep. That's their brothers out there. That's uh, the coach's he's, boys. He's on number 33, yeah, but I he's know not it. in the program that way. No, so. he's in no. I'll have to make a note here if you've got an extra pin. I, I did. I did. Here you go. Yep, yeah, I did. Shot I, no good. Rebound to the Mustangs. They got him listed as 24, but he's uh, 33, his number. Here, Josh Haken over to Malden. Malden passes back out to Josh Haken. Malden, Malden looked at a three, passed it up. Haken driving into the lane, but no, passes back out to uh, Jumbach. Jumbach with a three, and going to be a foul on Malden. Reaching in there on the rebound. So did you get uh, Baldwin's? Yeah, I got it fixed here. Baldwin's okay. first foul, and the Wolves will have it. Ball stolen. Hey, in the Caleb pass. DeHark and Jay Jumbach puts one up, but no good. Right under the basket. A nice pass by Caleb DeHark to Jumbach, but no good. Ball and blocked ball by Malden on the Malden. Re resulting Malden transition. Malden got back down the floor in a hurry. There's a nice pass by Nagel to Malden, and Malden finishes it with two points there, and he got fouled. So Malden will be at the line to shoot one. That foul is going to be on uh, number 13 is Caleb Nix. That was a good, strong take by Malden and a great yes. pass. Yeah. He, he uh, kind of figured he was going to take some contact, and he took it strong, but Malden. then released the shot nice and soft. So. Malden in and out on the free throw there. Four to nothing our score here. Six minutes to go here in the first quarter. Bubba Sohn, the freshman out there, directing traffic. He'll get it over I think it's Brett. Yeah, I think his brother's a senior there. Yep. Shot up and good wow, from right. 13. Nix has got it. The freshman, where's number 13, drains the three-pointer. 4-3 Mustangs Josh here. Hagen looked at a three, pass it back to Caleb DeHart. Caleb passes it in nicely to Lucas Nagel, and yep. Lucas puts her in for two points. Good spin move. Time out there, Harris Lake Park. Jeff Sohn says we've got to have a timeout. Talk things over here and play a little better defense. So we're going to hear from Northwest Consultants here right now. Go Mustangs. Back to live yeah. action here in Mustang headquarters. GLR Gymnasium. Craig Johnson alongside John Shook. And we've got HLP. Look at him take it all the way. Bubba Sohn, Sohn puts her up. Nix no with a rebound. Nick and going to get a foul on Jumback, I would say. So Caleb Nix with a good rebound. Two freshmen out there kind of directing traffic here for HLP. 
And Nick's will work his way to the line. They're trailing 6-3. to three. Nick's free throw up and up good. And good. Yep. Makes it 6-4. 5-24 on the clock. First period. Nick's second free throw up and good as well. Mustangs facing a little pressure defense here. Jump, Jump back. back. Yep. With the ball. Now we're to do uh, Haken. Haken back. Ooh, out of the hands of uh, Nagel, but he runs it back down. Drives into the lane. Passes it off nicely to Caleb to Hart. Caleb going to go up for a shot and got fouled in the process. So Caleb will be at the line to shoot two. That foul's on number 13 again. Caleb Nix, his second foul here of the night. In the early going here, only three minutes gone. To Hark's free throw is good. Malden coming out. To Hark. As is Josh Haken. Matt Haken into Matt the game. Matt in, as is Blake Johnson. To Hark's second free throw is no good off the back of the rim. Rebounded by the Mustangs. Quickly ahead to... Boy, good save from Einan. Brett Sohn. Hands off to Bubba Sohn. Bubba on the right wing, guarded by Blake Johnson. They both share the number one on their jersey. Ta right side, three ball up, no good. Rebound. Jump back. Jump back. Oh. Blake tries a skip pass, and quick Bubba Sohn takes it Bubba's away. going all the way. A nice, nice move by Bubba Sohn. But nice he... fake. And a foul on the subsequent rebound. That's number 10 into the game. Trevor Gunderson called for the foul. His first. And we've got Abdullah Elbitari. Yep, there you go. Into the name Elbitari, I think I would say. Elbitari. 7 He's to 5 on the score. Sophomore for HLP. Boy, a couple of tip passes. Yeah. That Bubba. Bubba's got quick hands there, and he's a quick boy, and there goes not Matt. And uh, that's going to be a jump ball. Matt Haken going to put the shot up, but he got tied up there by Brent Sohn. Yep, Sohn with the quick hand, causing that essentially that turnover. A tie-up is yep. a change of possession. Einan going to be whistled Ooh, for. Wow. Oh, it's going to be. Blake yeah. whistled for a foul yeah. on the entry pass to yep. Isaac Einan. Caleb, or uh, Josh Haken coming in, rather, for... Nick's back in there for the Harris Lake Park Wolves. Landon Jumbeck sitting down. 7-5 our score here. Sown on the fast break. Nice move, but stolen oh, by the Mustang. Saved Caleb in the play. Caleb to Hark. He had a... Got down the court in a hurry and stole that ball away on that pass. Now Nagel driving the baseline, put her in. Strong T baseline move by Nagel. Two point, four points for Nagel so far. Gunderson takes oh, it into and a pressure. Nice block by into Matt the Haken. land of the Giants, but no avail as and it goes into the hands of Bubba Sohn from the right wing, hits for three. Nine to eight our score. Nagel puts her in for two. Bubba Sohn had a hand in his face, but it was too low in the air. Bubba. Bubba Sohn goes skidding to a stop. There's going to be another foul on Blake John. No. It's on Josh Haken. Josh Haken, I guess. Must have, must have got their feet tangled. I didn't see yeah. any intent there, but it is a foul on Josh Haken. Here's the ball across to Trevor Gunderson. Gunderson drives hard to the lane. Nice move Puts right past in. Lucas Nagel's outstretched arm. 11-10, very evenly matched going on the early game here. And here is Haken over to Blake Johnson. Over to uh, Caleb DeHark in the far corner. Nice pass in there to Matt Haken. And Matt Haken finishes with a shot for two points and got fouled. So Matt Haken will be at the line to shoot one. That foul is on number 33. That's Brett Zone picks up that foul. So Caleb DeHart uh, setting down and uh, jump back back into the game here for our Mustang boys. Matt Haken at the line to shoot one here. Three throws off the front of the rim, no good. Bubba, Sohn. Gunderson pulls out to Brett Sohn and they'll set in their offense in the high court. Bubba going to drive and hard to be the a right. foul on jump back, I think, real quickly there. Yep, kind of a quick first step from Bubba Sohn, and he's caused some problems so for the jump back Mustang picks defense. Up two fouls. Abdullah so Elbaitari checking back in. Caleb DeHark back in now for jump back. So 
A lot of substitutions yes. going on. The team's trying to dial in their ideal recipe here. Well, a lot of guys picking up two fouls early on, too, here in this first quarter, and they got to watch that a little bit. The pass inside to Sohn. Nice shot, no but good. no good. Rebounded by Caleb DeHart. Off of uh, Haken's. Now we... Are they going to call that on Josh Haken? Yes. He's down on the How floor. In the world? He's on the know? floor and the ball's rolling to him and he got called for the foul. foul. I don't understand it. Don't understand he it. He went into the pile, I guess, and he caused the contact. He was the bowling <laughs> ball and they were the pins. I don't know. That's the second foul on Haken. I tell you, they, they've been calling, uh, in the <laughs> girls' game too, been calling fouls really close. And uh, so these boys are going to have to uh, watch that fouling if they want to stay in this game and play. A lot on of both players teams, with both two teams. fouls on both squads. Yeah, on both here. squads. Yep, both squads. Bubba with a three. Three. Count it there for Bubba. Timeout for GLR. They want 30 seconds to uh, talk this over. It's tied at 13. We're going to hear from uh, Northwest Consultants again. I'm doing a radio check here. Okay. Hello, basketball fans. Jim McConnell here inviting you to dribble down to Northwest Consultants in George so we can pass along a quote to you on your insurance policies. We will screen our list of companies and then shoot you the best deal possible. We're sure you will jump for joy at the low cost and great coverage we can give you on your home, business, farm, auto, health, and life insurance. Call 475-2610 or stop in and see us at our office in George where you can have all your insurance policies in one basket. Go Mustangs! Go Mustangs. Go Mustangs is right here. Tied up at 13, 242 on the clock. Blake Johnson now with the ball, bring across the uh, half court line, pass ahead to Malden. Malden over to Blake again, back over to uh, Caleb to Hark. Nagel with the ball, nice pass in there to, to Hark. To Hark spin move, puts one up and count it for Caleb to Hark. Nice soft touch on the shot. Here's Bubba Sohn. Sohn way in the high court. Backdoor oh. pass tipped. Gunderson, high shot. Yep. Somehow got it to go. Mustangs yeah. get it to Blake Johnson in the front court. Now over to uh, Malden. Back over Caleb to Hark. Pass it back out. Blake Johnson with a three. Count it there for Blake. Splash in the bottom of the net. 18-15 our score. Favor of the Mustangs. Bubba with a Sloan three point. pulls up in his yep. own answer. It's tied at 18. Bubba's got the three three-pointers so far tonight. Yeah, he's a good shooter. Malden traveled as yep. he caught the ball. He had uh, a pass in mind, and that passing lane got cut off. So Parker, uh, what, I mean, not Parker, um, Peyton Malden Peyton checking into checking the game. In. Yep. Peyton. Peyton Malden wears number four. Yep. Tied at 18. It's been very evenly matched. Mustangs and Wolves trading the lead here. Bubba hands it off. Einan gets it back. Minute 22 to go. Albatari off to Brett Sohn. Bubba Sohn, top of the key. Gunderson wide open for three. Hits. And hits it there, Gunderson. That puts them up 21-18. Malden to the corner to Malden. Malden brothers playing catch. Now Peyton in the corner. Inside to Caleb. Nice Matt, play. Up to Matt. Yeah, Caleb to Hark with two points. And you know, it's a good good catch. Kept it high above his frame and yep. put it right up and into the basket. Caleb jumps up there and Look gets that Look at that, that quick pass. move. Look at the quick move and the yep. soft touch from Bubba Sohn. Bubba is quite a little player there for a freshman boy. He just... Has a quick move and doesn't didn't pick up his dribble. Kind of surprised everybody. Yep. Went to the basket, might it, and yep. got himself a free throw to boot. That foul is on uh, Blake Johnson. Right, Blake's first. Yep. Team's seventh foul here yep. in the first period. Here comes Four Caleb fouls on the other side. Pass inside. Nice Matt. move to Matt Haken. And rebounded there by Caleb Tahar. Comes out of there with a rebound. Puts it back up and no good there. Rebounded by Matt Haken. And now Matt Haken to go to the line to shoot too as he got fouled. Sohn reached in. Brett Sohn for his first foul. Second, second foul. Second sorry. foul. Second foul on uh, Brett. 
So Matt Haken at the line now. Heinen set to check in. First one's up and good there for Matt. Brett Sohn taking a seat. So here's Matt Haken for his second free throw. No good there. Rebounded by Tahark. Alden. Alden looked at a three. Now he takes a three. Ben count it there for Jay Boy, that's a Jayden Malden. Perfect, perfect arch. Lands in the net for Malden. One point lead now for Mustangs. 24-23. 17 seconds to go. Bubba Sohn. 10 seconds. Al Albatari. 10 seconds indeed. Bubba's got it way out in the high court. Oh, now only five seconds to go. He'll pull Bubba's up from him. deep downtown. No good. Blake's got, got it. Good if it goes, and it's going to no be good. close. He hit the glass, but uh, no good there. So <laughs> after one quarter of play, George Little Rock Mustangs 24, Harris Lake Park 23. Man, what a good one we got going on. We're going to keep it right here. We're going to keep it right here and talk about a good matchup. Evenly matched these two teams trying to dial in their combinations. Lots of players with two fouls. Yep. Got five team fouls on HLP, seven on the Mustangs. They've got seven on the board, but I think there's only five committed. Well, they'll they'll sort that out in the uh, in the scoring tent there. They've got to go underneath that concussion tent. <laughs> yeah. Right. They have to evaluate their injuries. Right? I guess so. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they just got seven fouls for George Little Rock up there and five for them, but it's five and five, I think it's five really. five and five, so there is no bonus yet. No, they'll, they'll figure that out when they get to the point with a foul by the scorekeeper. Uh, the gal that's keeping the clock is uh, screwing up there, I think. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's the one that puts that up there. That's so. a big job, though. A lot of buttons and a lot of yeah. knobs but and that, a lot of... That gal running the clock, though, I don't know about yeah, her. I, well, that's... That's your call there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to get into that, I'm huh? Not, I'm not going down that. You're not going down road. that road, no. Mustangs entry pass, and they'll start the second period with Caleb, the ball. Caleb DeHart with the ball. Pass over to Malden now. Back over to uh, Peyton Malden. Cross court pass over to Jaden. Jaden with a three and off the rim. No good. Sohn got the fingertips on it, and uh, Bubba comes away with the rebound there. Sohn to Sohn, and now Gunderson into the lineup, as is always. Oh, a traveling call there. Caleb um, Nix, I was just going to say his name, and he got whistled for an extra step. Yep. Turnover by HLP. So just a one-point lead here for our Mustang boys, 24-23. Caleb DeHark now with the ball, passes into Nagel. Nagel going to pass it, and the ball got tipped away. Heinen takes Here. it out to Bubba. Bubba looked at a three, passed it up. Oh, Brett, Brett Sohn traveled. Mysterious call. Yep. Coach Jeff Sohn don't believe that call either and complaining and neither, a little bit. Neither did Brett. Sohn called for the steps. But he must have. They're calling that super close. They aren't are, they? yep. So here we are in front court for the Mustangs. Entry pass into oh. Nagel, ball over top of the, yeah, that's Oh, be and now we're going to get a foul on uh, Matt, Matt Haken. Haken. They're just out of bounds. Both yeah. boys was out of bounds and just. Einan got pushed. To, yeah. Now they've got him headed to the. That ain't right. They've got him headed to the free throw line. Which I is don't know about that. Interesting here. We, they got more fouls in the book than we got here for some reason or another. And Einan will put in the free throw, ties it at 24. And the second one up and good, 25-24 HLP. Mustang's working to break the press. Malden's got it. Malden passes over to now. There's a shot from the free throw line. Nagel, Nagel feeling he, good he, there. He loves that free throw line shot he there when he gets shot, open. And he hit it in rhythm. Yep. 
Nagel with eight points so far tonight. 26-25, 6.34 to go. In the, nice uh, backdoor pass to Nix. Nix der. Now Einan. Bubba, Brett Sohn. Brett, no good there. Rebound the run corner. down by Matt Haken. A lot of contact and the foul yep. on the, not called now, on the subsequent play. Now we're into the front court here for the Mustangs. Going to get a foul on number 13 is Nix again with his third foul. No, let's see, yes. I got him for three. Sixth That's team foul on HLP. Malden coming out. Landon Jumbeck in his stead. Both Maldens coming out. Josh Haken come in too. So both Malden boys sitting down on the bench. Caleb to Hart. Nice pass there to Haken. Or uh, to Nagel rather. And Josh, Josh Haken, Haken with the rebound and finishes up with two points. Weak side rebound and a bucket. Ball kicked by Caleb to Hart. Out of bounds. Yep. 28-25. This is a this is like an auction with a lot of good stuff to sell. Here. <laughs> that is a lot of stuff happening. Nick's coming out. El Baitari back into the lineup for HLP. He'll enter enter the pass. 28-25. Right in front of the Mustangs bench. We've got number 2-0 -oh into the lineup. I don't have him on the list either. Nope. Trevor Gunderson now to Mystery Man 20. We'll get his number at the break. Einan. Brett Sohn drives in. Gunderson for three, three. Drops and back and hits. Trevor over Gunderson. Over top of the outstretched arm of the mystified. We're Lucas all tied Nagel. up again. All tipped. Oh, and it was a hey, Nagel tried to the, pass it in to yep. Matt uh, Haken and just uh, was not there. Gunderson. Now to Smith. 20 is Smith. Until we find a better name. Brett Sohn drives the baseline up and off the glass and good. Makes it 30-28. Brett Sohn's first bucket there of the night. Jump back with the ball, pass over John. Now they pass into Matt Haken. Boy, and a lot of, uh, yeah. lot of reaching there. And then the, it's going to be on, on number 10. Gunderson. And he wasn't even in the mix there. You know, I don't know how he got... I didn't see foul. that at all, but he's whistled for it. He sits down. Brett Sohn sitting down. Matt Haken at the line to shoot one and one. Mustangs trail by two. Matt Haken's first free throw is up and good. One point lead there now for Harris Lake Park. 30-29 our score. He oh, can, yeah. Good. So 30-30 now, all tied up again there with 4.57 to go in the second quarter here. Albaitari now to Nix. Einan. Einan's going to drive left. Oh, pass. Nearly lost the handle. Albaitari retrieves it. Number 20 mystery man. Now of a zone driving the left side. He's well defended. Turned away at the door. Einan. Top of the key. Going to go around the right side. Going to go off the glass. And no, no good. good. Rebound in the hands of Jumbeck. <coughs> Jumbeck ahead to Nagel. Nagel goes all the way and puts her in. They wanted a travel call. Jeff Sohn did, but no travel call. And count the bucket. Count the bucket for Nagel. <coughs> timeout. Jeff Sohn wants a full timeout. Well, we're not quite to. Is it March 17th? We're not quite there yet. What, March 17th? Now that's the look of the Irish on the GLR Radio Network. <laughs> We're not quite there yet. Nope. To St. Patrick's Day. I wish it would be March 17th. I tell you. Probably be warmer. This weather would be better, I'll I tell you. I hope so. But we've I'd had cold weather then, too. Oh, for licking the flagpole. It's painful out there, John. That's the look of the Irish. Oh, ho, ho. Man, oh, man, it's been a... A cold, 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 cold one. Yep, since a few days before Christmas, why it's been cold here. I think one morning we had 27 below. Oh, that's not enough. Yeah, but uh, not not a lot of wind, so that helps some. And I think by Sunday it's supposed to be 35 or 40, so. Well, that's a 70-point swing, yeah. according to our cameraman. <laughs> I he guess said that it, is. The feel-like temperature was minus 35 that day. Oh. 
and then if you get to 35, right. you know that's a long ways from, I mean, that's 70 degrees. That's a lot of difference. That's no. like a summer day difference right there. No wonder everybody's got the flu. Or no is there a wonder. lot of flu going around? Or there was well, I earlier. Think it, I think it froze straight yeah. to the flagpole. Bubba Sohn now with the ball in the front court for HLP over to Nix. Jeff Sohn calling some plays here now. The boys look over at him and uh, got something set up here now. We're under four minutes now in the first half. Sohn's got his dribble picked up. He gets some relief from 20. Now we don't have 20 on our Six. roster. Now Einan on the right side. Einan carried that ball around, yep. and he's called for it. Yep, good call there, Craig. Yeah, he really made a move that was unnatural with the ball, and he was called for the over the top. Yep. The carry, so. they call that. Josh Aiken now with the ball. Caleb Dark put the inbound pass in. Aiken over to Nagel. Back over to Josh Aiken. Caleb DeHark, a nice move there. And count it for Caleb. Was that Caleb or Matt? Uh, Matt Haken, I think. Matt Haken made that? I think Matt Haken did that, actually. Caleb? Caleb. Nope, was it, it was Caleb, yep. That was a good shot by whoever made it. it yep, was it was Caleb. Great, great move. Malden set to check in. Foul on Nagel, right? Lucas with his first, I believe. Yep, I got him for one foul, Lucas of, Nagel. A lot of time going between. So mystery the man number called. 20 here now is going to not make a free throw, but they're going to get the rebound, Harris Lake Park, and now picked up by Josh Aiken. Josh Aiken going coast to coast and put her in for two points. Picked it up off the floor, Josh Aiken did. It went That's coast a quick to coast. Move to get down there. Yep. 36-30, biggest lead for the Mustangs. So Peyton Malden getting ready. What to, is he doing? He's wow. 24 foot from the basket. Wow. He was out on the volleyball set line there, wasn't he? Yeah. That's Bubba, Bubba Sohn. Sohn hitting another three-pointer. Four three-pointers for Bubba. Mustangs on forced error, turn it over. Yep. And Malden brothers are checking, checking in. Checking in. Uh, Josh and Landon sitting down for the Mustangs. 36-33, three-point lead for the Mustang boys. So evidently Bubba's got permission to, to shoot, shoot from anywhere on the floor, and he he just pulled up. You would never even expect a kid to shoot from there, and he drains it Yep. last time down. There's Trevor Gunderson, left wing. Mustangs have him pulled way out to the high court. So and so now down to the right side, Albaitari. Wide nope. open for three, takes it. No good no there, good. rebounded the by side. Malden. Now in the hands of Nagel. Nagel going to go all the way, puts one up for two points. <laughs> Nagel went strong to the bucket there. Yep, never got stopped. Gunderson whistled for a, a step. Nagel with uh, 12 points already this first half. Two minutes to go here in the half, 2 11 to be exact. 38 33, five point lead for the Mustang boys. Boy, that's a tough place to catch a pass right in between steps. They kind of caught Gunderson almost off guard the yep. last time down. Turnover, Nagel. Nagel pass oh, a nice underneath. pass there oh, to Matt nice Haken. finish by Matt Haken. Yeah, a nice pass there by uh, Nagel to Haken. Good kind of a reverse layup. Oh, they left Bubba wide open. He drains oh, it. Oh, and he drains another one. I don't have no more room for three-pointers <laughs> for Is Bubba. Is that his fifth one? Fifth one there. Yeah, you're going to have to just put a hash mark on the, yep. the threes there. Pass under to Lucas. Wide Lucas open under puts the her in for two points here. They're not going to be able to stop him that way. No. Nope. Six-point lead, 42-36. Bubba's a quick little boy dribbler there now. Does a nice job handling the ball. Yeah, he's very good, very quick. Pass Cross across the mystery man, 20. Guarded by Peyton. 115 to go here. 42-36, our score. Brett Sohn. Sohn doesn't pick up his dribble. Now he'll dish to the corner. That shot is up and off the glass. No, no good. No good there. Rebounded. Rebounded in the hands of Caleb DeHarkin. There could have been a foul there. Nothing called. Now it's finally on Bubba. Bubba Sohn picks up his yeah. first foul. Bonus, bonus foul call there. Caleb DeHark at the line here to shoot the one-on-one. 42-36, our score, one minute to go in the half. Caleb's free throw is no good there, but uh, Nagel 
Comes away with a rebound. And rebound to the Mustangs. It was knocked out of bounds. Last touch by HLP. Yep. Peyton will inbound across the court from us. Gets it to Matt Haken, gets it back. Now oh, Terhar. Terhar gets the handle Malden. on it there. Now Malden going to the baseline, put her in for two points. Two guys on the Albert floor, Tari but nothing called. Oh, a technical foul on somebody there. Uh, Harris Lake Park boy, I think. It's on 3-3. Three, three. Technical foul. Brett Sohn. Brett Sohn whistled for, must have been a snarky remark. Yeah, some to kind. the he official. Wasn't, he wasn't involved in the. Nope, when he's running by the official, yeah. he must have said something there, you know. And So here's a free throw with the clock stopped, a technical foul free throw. Lucas Nagel. Yep, makes that one there. And the and now the subsequent one and one here. No, it's going to no, be just, just one the, more. Just the, just the technical. The Two shots for the technical, and we'll get the ball. It's a two-shot technical, yep, and, and then uh, and we'll get the ball. See, uh, I got you. So it's a good turnaround to be a five-point play if we make a three-pointer now. Forty-three right. seconds to go here. It's a ten-point lead, kind of a big swing here as uh, time winds down. Thirty seconds now. Mustangs holding it in the high court. Malden and Malden off to Nagel. Got to be careful. They're going to close those passing lanes yep. off. Have over a clean Malden. passing lane. 20 seconds. They've knocked 10 off. Malden to Malden. Back over to Nagel. Back over to uh, Peyton Malden again. 11 wow. seconds. 10 seconds. 9 seconds. Nagel gets a pass inside. Puts up a shot. No good. Caleb, big rebound. Caleb to Hark with a big rebound there again and puts her in for two points, and that's the end of the first half of play. 48 for our Mustang boys, 36 for Harris Lake Park. 12-point lead there now. So, uh, All right. Well, we're going to have one more band outing here tonight. Okay. You've got to play in the band again. i got to go. And then I'll put the horn away, and we'll be the rest of the night Okay. in the booth. Bring the horn up here. You can play a few songs here in well, timeouts. as you said, it's not my horn. Hey, and we've got Oh, Coach, we got Tyler Glanzer Coach coming Glanzer up here. coming anyway, so I'll hand wants... my mic off to him. Okay, and you can get out of here to go play in the band. I'll do it. And uh, so uh, he's got to get out and go play in the band. And, uh, can you run this until I get So we got uh, one half uh, play done here with the uh, Mustang boys here leading 48 to 36 here, 12 point lead. So it seems like there've been a lot of fouls called in this uh, early game here, but uh, kind of was a close game. So Mustang seems to be in control. We've had some good shots. And anyway, we've got uh, welcome Tyler Glanzer uh, up to the booth here, the girls coach. And uh, so happy new year to you and congratulations on a nice win here tonight. Well, thank you. Happy new year to you. And yep. yeah, it's always good to get a win. Yeah, they, I thought uh, we, we really enjoyed watching the girls play. Both both teams tonight was really playing, uh, you know, out to get each other, and, and it was a good girls game to watch for the uh, crowd here. Well, yeah, it was a, a little bit of a slow start uh, yeah. for us and, and really probably for them too, you know, only 12 to 8 after the first quarter, but then we scored in double digits every quarter after that. And Yeah, it was, yeah, I thought it was a fairly entertaining game. Got up and down a couple times. Both teams threw a little press at at each other, and it was hard fought inside, and um, yeah, we were we were able to make enough shots and and put enough points on the board uh, to get a win tonight. Yeah, Driesen come in and then got some big rebounds. We thought too at the time the time she was playing, and uh, Mackenzie Post uh, had a hot hand tonight. You know, she had uh, I believe four threes and wound up with twenty five points. You know, and so yep. you, you had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine girls I think in the scoring column. Yeah, it was pretty evenly spread. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, like you mentioned, Mackenzie Post had kind of the hot hand and pulled away from everybody else, but everybody contributed, both offensively and defensively. Yeah. Um, I was, I was, it's always good to uh, to get some contributions off the bench. I thought McKenna uh, Aarons and Emily Jensen both played good, gave us good minutes off the bench, defensively and offensively. Um, you know, Kayla doesn't always light up the scorebook, but she does so many things that go unnoticed with her defense and taking care of the basketball. And, and Winona, I believe, had 10 rebounds, if not more than that. So 
it was definitely a team effort tonight. There's always going to be a few things we can pick on and that we know we got to keep getting better at. Um, but we, we also can enjoy the win for tonight. Yep. And like we uh, talked here a couple of weeks ago, you know, each and every girl on the team and on the bench is, had got something to add to the uh, team, you know. Each got the special thing. And anyway, I thought uh, tonight, too, like Madison Driesen, when you put her in there, why, uh, she kind of uh, give that veil a girl. She was a little tall, the girl, the veil. And uh, Mackenzie Driesen uh, kind of, yeah, maybe got a few rebounds away from her and uh, took her out of a little bit of game there. So, Well, yeah, she definitely gives us um, – a, a good spark that way off the bench, both both defensive rebounds and offensive rebounds. Yeah. I mean, she can hold her own in the inside. And yeah, she's she, a strong girl. She does a good job even sealing where we don't always see her in the inside, trying to seal. Nice to get her the ball a little more inside and let her let her use use the, her size to get a few points. But uh, she definitely works hard and, and and came up with some big rebounds, like you say. Yeah, I was talking. I know the assistant coach pretty well from Harris Lake Park, and I talked to her a little bit, uh, Carla Kyle. And, um, yeah, she said, too, that their girls was uh, kind of struggling this year. But uh, I thought, um, you know, they pretty evenly matched both uh, teams and uh, just a fun game to watch. And so we uh, bet the Mustang girls was uh, glad to come out of here tonight with a victory and uh, kind of gives them a little uh, spark in their game again. Yeah. Well, HLP, they, we, they're really. I feel like we're pretty similar teams this year. You know, their their record doesn't show as good as they are. They're right before break. They they lost HMS by three and MMCRU by three. I mean, just close games that didn't go their way. Um, they're they're definitely a, a good team, and moving forward, we, we might have to see them again come February and yeah it could, and, could easy be and, and it'll be it'll be a good game I mean we're pretty similar teams I feel um, they got maybe a little more size maybe not hit height but a little more size than us um, so uh, it'll be interesting if we have to see them again down the road yeah that's right so tomorrow night we got to go take a trip over to Orange City to play MOC which is uh, going to be a tough game I know that but uh, uh, yeah it's always tough when we play MOC, but I just got done telling the girls that we have to remember that sometimes we remember that it was a 20-point loss, and what we don't realize is that the score was 46-26, and we've been averaging about 45 points a game lately. We put up 53 tonight, so we're obviously a lot better offensively than we were the first game of the season. Um, I think we got we can play right with those guys, but anytime you play MOC, it's going to be tough, yeah. and we'll, we'll have to become ready to play, and you know, we it was it was a battle tonight. So coming off a of back to back, that'll be interesting. Our girls will have to get some good rest tonight and 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 uh, be ready to play tomorrow. And you probably got the stats on this. I never kept track of that, but I think we must have out rebounded our girls did uh, Harris Lake Park tonight, didn't we? It was a tie. Oh, it was. It yeah. just it just seemed like our girls had more rebounds. I don't know. I guess because it, of Winona was tough yeah. on the boards there, and and uh, yeah, and Driesen come in and just seemed like we got more rebounds. But uh, the the rebound game was a tale of two halves. In the first quarter, and a little bit of the second quarter, we were giving up a lot of offensive rebounds. Yeah. But then in the second half, we we took care of that, and so. I, we were getting out rebounded pretty bad, I believe, at halftime, and then uh, started cleaning that up and did much better in the second half, and then it ended up being pretty even with the rebounds. Yep. So I suppose you had some uh, good practices, maybe over the Christmas break, a few, and um, yeah, we did. Yep, that's yep. good. So, well, we got about three minutes and forty seconds here before uh, start the second half of the boys' game here now, and so the boys with the twelve-point lead and. Uh, so uh, Harris Lake Park too. Don't um, I don't think their record. I, I had it down here. I don't just remember now what it was. I, oh, I think they uh, got uh, oh six wins and uh, no, that's us. Uh, six and three wins and five losses. Harris Lake Park, but uh, they're, they're, they're playing a great game tonight. And that uh, Bubba Zone boy, that little freshman, why he's a quick little player and. Yeah. Uh, He's got five threes made already tonight, so the boys are going to have to get out on him a little. Yeah, the HLP is, play, HLP is playing well offensively. You know, yeah. we're we're a tough team for anybody to guard, so we it's going to be hard for them to get stops. Uh, we're pretty tough offensively. Our guys are. Uh, if our guys want to put away HLP, though, we're going to have to get stops ourselves because right now they're they're getting a lot of good looks and and making them. Yeah, that's right. So. Uh, 
Well, have you got anything else to add? Or uh, otherwise, uh, we'll talk to you again maybe uh, tomorrow night over there at MOC. And uh, so good luck yep. with the game, and congratulations on a nice win here tonight. Yeah, thank you. You bet. Thanks, Tyler, yep. for coming talking. No problem. So Tyler Glanzer here, our girls' head coach, come and talk. And uh, always glad when he comes and talks to us a while. And uh, so... Uh, <laughs> The uh, pep band is playing there, and the uh, Craig Johnson gets away from me here and goes plays his uh, trumpet in the pep band, and so uh, I just hope he don't get his tongue stuck in the uh, trumpet there. Otherwise, he won't be able to talk when he gets back, and maybe that'd be good. I don't know. So Anyway, so we want to say hi to all those people that are listening out there tonight and hope you enjoy the uh, GLR Radio Network. And uh, uh, probably not quite as cold down there south in Mesa, Arizona, but... Uh, it's been kind of a cold uh, week here ever since a little before Christmas. and But uh, it's going to warm up sometime. They say July. We're supposed to get the hot weather here again. So we got something to look forward to. So we got a pretty good game going like we was talking to Tyler there. You know why our boys going to have to uh, put a little stop on uh, Bubba Sohn and uh, the rest of the guys. They're, they're shooting very well. Harris Lake Park and uh, the Sohn boys got uh, five three-pointers already. And, but uh, we can... Uh, Keep right up with them there. So, George Little Rock boys, we got, um, I got to turn the page over here. I think uh, we got uh, Lucas Nagel already. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 14, 15, 16 points. And Caleb DeHark has got uh, 11 points already. So, we got some guys scoring too. So, 51 seconds to go here in the before we get started on the second half here. So tomorrow night, like I said, we'll be at MOC playing there. And I don't know what's in store for the next week. I know uh, maybe there's only one game next week. Maybe next Friday night they got this uh, kind of a break they got uh, with the test and all that. Oh, maybe oh, semester oh, break already. Oh, so. oh, oh. oh, I'm back. Oh, we thought maybe you got your <laughs> tongue stuck in the trumpet there. Ouch. We, yeah, we was kind of, was, I got a lot of texts and says, uh, what happened to Craig? And I said, well, he's got his tongue oh. stuck in the trumpet. And they said, uh, I, I'm yeah. not going to say what they said. It's not good. Not good. Holy cow. So we got about seven seconds to go here, and we'll be ready for, um, and the ball should go to uh, Ayers Lake Park, should have the uh, first possession here starting our second half. So who will be the players for the Mustangs as we begin? Well, I would say the starters, but I'm not sure there. Looks like uh, Nagel, Josh Haken, Caleb DeHart, Jumbeck, and Jaden Malden. Yep. Bubba and Brent, and number 23, Einan, and Gunderson, Trevor Gunderson. And also, um, hmm. Bubba. anyway, Bubba with the ball. They got to keep an eye on Bubba. Einan. There's a three pointer going up there by an hour. Einan. No good there. Rebounded in the hands of the Mustang boys here. Malden, looks Malden it over. looked at a three, drives into right the there. lane and gets fouled as he's going to put a shot up. So Jaden Malden will be at the line to shoot two. That foul is going to be on number. Hmm, 33, I guess. Yeah, Brett Sohn. Wow, that's his, wow, that's his fourth foul, Brett Sohn, already. I had him for three, but Malden's free throw is good there. So Malden with uh, nine points so far in this game. 49-36 there now. Malden's free throw is up and good as well. So he made both of them. Nice job there by uh, Jaden Malden. 50 to 36 now, Mustangs lead here by 14. Just about a steal by Jaden Malden. So Mustangs, I think, stepping up the defense just a little bit here. Maybe coaches told them we got to play a little tougher defense here. Why, Bubba and, oh, just Bubba. blocked, well defended yeah. by yep. Caleb Shot Gerard. got blocked. Lucas and takes Lucas it Nagel, no good there. Rebounded by Caleb DeHark, and Caleb lost the handle on it. And, come, and Lake Park comes away with it, Harris Lake Park. And Bubba wide open from three. No, no good there. Almost his first miss from yeah, three. Lucas that is. in transition behind the back. Nice. Oh, a nice pass. Now what? Nice pass on the, on the floor. 
Nice pass to, uh, from uh, Nagel to uh, Josh Haken, but uh, he was putting a shot up, but they said the foul come before, so Josh, Josh. Haken ready to put the ball in play under our own basket here now. Jumbach makes kind of a bad pass there. and Gunderson takes it coast to coast. No though. good. but Rebound put in by Nix. Nix. Yep, Nix, he got the rebound, put her back in. Lucas, Lucas Nagel and good. good. Count it for Lucas here. 52-38. Mix. So who did uh, Landon come in for? Three Land ball on the way. Bank Land to home from the left side. Was that by number 20? By number 20. Yeah. Timeout here. Well, Landon the started the second uh yeah, I don't have him in the lineup yet. Oh, he started the second he's, half. He's not, uh, Matt Haken is not in. So Landon is no. what, 23? Yep, Landon's 23. Okay. Yep, he's uh And the clock says Isabel is back, yep. I'm off by four seconds, Isabel. Sorry about that. Isabel's back from playing that flute like a fierce yeah. flute player. I'll tell you what, I could hear Isabel playing over oh. there way better than uh, that other guy. That I can't fierce. say his name. I, I mean, I could hardly hear my fellow trumpets for the flute section. I over can there. believe that. Wowza. 52 41, our score, 6 18 on the clock, third period. And now I can catch my breath and talk basketball. Here to be Mustang ball here. Jump back, putting the ball in play here. Here comes Josh Haken with the ball, getting guarded by Bubba. There's Lucas at the elbow, wide open, Caleb Terhark. A three, no good there. Heinen with a strong backside rebound. Wide open, Caleb was, and he had to take that shot, yeah, but he's, it's no good. He was in rhythm, Bubba oh, way yeah. out high, guarded extensively by Caleb Terhark. Out of the corner, he's going to take it. You never know where Bubba's at. He gets yeah. around all over that floor, don't he? Tipped he's up at bounds. the top here, and then he's over in the corner. And Last touch by HLP. Mustangs will inbound. You're right. He's just uh, quicker than a minute there. Josh oh, behind the back now to land it underneath to Lucas. Lucas Nagel with another two points here. Strong finish at the glass. 54-41 here. Lucas has got the hot hand in the boys' game here tonight. Bubba guarded way out by the main of the Mustang center court. Number 20. Now Trevor Gunderson left side. Einan Gunderson playing catch. Gunderson will go around the top. Switches to the paint. Einan takes it through. He'll go off to the right side off the glass. Wow. Nice finish for Einan. Isaac hits it from the... Right wing, about eight foot off the glass. I think that's Einan's first bucket of the night. Landon Boy. gets it back from a pass and hits the three. Wow, jump back with a three-pointer. <laughs> Landon kind of got a surprise return pass, almost a punch pass back from Lucas and drains the three. Here's Gunderson now off to the right side. Ball, oh, stolen. ball stolen by Josh Aiken. Josh Aiken going to go all the way, but kind of lost the handle on a little bit, but run the ball down. Passed it quickly now. Nagel. Got fouled as he's going to go up for two. Yep. So Blake Johnson's getting ready to check in as well as uh, Matt Haken. And we've got Al Batari, the 5'10 sophomore, set to check in for HLP at the next buzzer. Lucas Nagel's first free throw is a good one there. Count it. Matt Haken and Blake Johnson coming into the game. Jaden Molden coming out as well as uh, Josh Haken. Good minutes there from Malden and Haken. Now the younger Haken in, as you said. And free, the free throw is up and good. good. That is up in a made basket there from the free throw line. Bubba Sohn drives it in, dishing out to Einan. Now around the right side to Gun or Trevor oh, Gunderson has ball it swiped from away. behind Here by comes Lucas. Nagel with the ball, 59-43 our score. Jump and back with a three, no good. Blake Johnson comes away with a loose ball there on the rebound. Passes it to Matt Haken. Oh, oh Haken. my goodness. Haken a good wide open, but blew the bunny there under the basket. Yep, good pass by Jumback to Haken, but uh, Matt just three-pointer, no good. Bubba cooled off a little bit on a three-point shooting there. Otherwise, that first half, he just seemed like he couldn't miss him. 
Aiken. There's a tip yep. pass to Landon. That one's no good there. Rhythm. Lucas a tracks it down. With the rebound. Haken going in all the way. Ball Tries taken to go around away from him. And his outstretched arm takes it away for HLP. Now Einan looks at a shot from the right side. He works on pressure by Blake Johnson. Lost his footing. Tips it out to Magic Man 20. Magic Johnson, <laughs> that is. And they'll reset. Bubba's way out at the volleyball Spike line, is that the set line? I forget what they call that. Spike line. Spike line and the foul, offensive foul away from the ball called on HLP, 2-0. That's a Magic Johnson. Magic out there getting whistled for the offensive foul. Timeout on the time court out. to HLP. It's a full timeout, full timeout. 59-43 our score here with 3.20 to go in the third quarter. So let's thank our sponsors again, our game sponsors. You have game them sponsor. I got in them your here. book, right? Yep, I got them right over here. See where I got them? <laughs> right we got here. Jim McConnell and Judy Shuck and uh, Galen and Deb DeHart and Little Rock Community Foods there in Little Rock. Why, they uh, got all the groceries you ever need there, and if you don't can't find it there, you probably don't need it. And they got a deli there, too, to go out and eat. Have they got some good lunch there? Oh, good lunches. Got taco salad on Wednesday. Oh, that oh good. that's good. Friday, I think, is the baked potato day. And then they got hamburger day. And I don't you know, know which day they all are, but the good food. They've got good food good and food. good groceries and yep. good, good people there and smiling service. And I think you can eat there for $5. Hey, that's a about, $5 meal. That's about right. Yep. You know, for a, for a nice uh, meal at lunchtime. Yep. Oh, we go there, me and my wife, on Wednesdays a lot of times have the taco salad. That sounds really Ooh, good. Ooh, it's good. Actually, it's really good. You uh, ever think about bringing one of them along to the game? Yeah, I would, but they got it on Wednesday, and we don't have the games on Wednesday, oh, you know. But I could a, bring it along, but that salad, that lettuce yeah, might get a little bad a by little Friday. It's a little wilted by Friday night. Yeah, that would, but I can bring you one along. You if, know, yeah. that's all right. I okay. think we'll, we'll do it another time. Okay. They're... Uh, well, you could always meet me in uh, Little Rock on I Wednesday. I think that's and a better idea. I'll we'll take do it you down there, yep. We'll do it that way. We'll meet at the Community Foods. So back at live action here, Jaden Malden with the ball in the far corner, pass it in to, uh, to Hark. To Hark spins around, puts one in for two points. Just a nice soft Just a nice shot. soft touch there by Caleb, I guess so. So when it goes through the net last, you got to love it. Caleb DeHark with 13 points here so far in this game. They're going to let Albaitari shoot it from way out yep. there if he wants it, and he does. Yep, no, no good. good. Blake, takes Blake the Johnson rebound. with the rebound. Pa nice, nice pass over to Josh Aiken, and jo Josh Aiken finishes finish. there. Yep. Nice pass by Blake Johnson to uh, Aiken. Yep. Here's a three ball on the way from Einan and hits from yep. the arc. Einan, top of the key. That's his first. Einen. 63-46, our score. Malden oh, and a travel there the on Malden there. Took off a little too quick there to the basket here. Free popcorn coming up. Look at there. You know, I don't think they're going to make it all the way up here. No. Nope. If they do. You'd want one. You snag one of them if you can. Yep, okay. You whistle them down. Here's Einen across popcorn. the timeline. Two minutes, you get 14. get one if they, if they get it. <laughs> Brett Sohn playing with four fouls. Einan on the left wing. Sohn going to the center of the paint. Ball blocked by Malden. Pass ahead to Haken. Haken going to take it through the, through the defense. And a foul over the Adney on suing rebound. I think that's going to be a foul on Haken. He got whistled for the reach there. Look at there. I got you a popcorn there. How did you do that? <laughs> well, my wife snuck that over here. That is so. very nice. Was that the foul on Haken? I got to get that down here. I think that's Josh's first foul. They've got him for three on the big board. Up Holy. There. Oh, yeah. I'm. Uh, yep. Yep. I'm one line off. I don't. I don't know. If that don't work with, the, with the, what I got down either. But. <laughs> Here's Whatever. Atari at the elbow. Now to Brett Sohn at the Brett other Sohn elbow. And no Blue, good. No Rebounded shot. by Caleb DeHark. He flew in there high and got that rebound there. Caleb DeHark now with the ball off of uh, Harris Lake Park's foot there. Boy, it's a good bounce for the Mustangs. Yep, so it belonged to the Mustangs here yet right under our own basket. Blake Johnson putting the ball in play. 63-46 in favor of the Mustang boys. So uh, Caleb Nix coming back in the game there for number 23, Einan. 
129 to go in the third quarter. Blake Johnson passes in there to uh, Peyton Malden into the lineup. Oh, what oh, a pass. What a play. Yeah, but Mustang's boy. Mustang's really passing the ball well. That time it's out of the outstretched arms of Matt Haken. Now ahead to Nix. Nix driving the baseline. Brett Sohn drives in. A strong move. He's going to get fouled on the way to the basket. That's on Jumback, I believe. No, Matt Haken. 32. 30, 32, yep. Oh, okay, Matt Haken. So Second foul Brett Sohn, free throw rattles up and good. Good there for Brett. Brett Sohn with, uh, I have him down for three points so far tonight. 63-47 our score, 108 to play in the third quarter. Brett's get a chance to uh, make another free throw and he does. Nice shot there by Brett. Trevor Gunderson back into the lineup for HLP. Blake Johnson now. He's about as quick as a Bubba. Bubba and Blake. Bubba and Blake duking it out out there yep. for the quick point guard spot. Caleb Terhark picked up his dribble. He'll get it to Malden at the Malden elbow. Malden at the yep, free throw line. No good there. Rebounded in the hands of uh, Nicks. Nicks ahead to 20. Got a good jump Oh, stop. a nice block there by Matt Haken. Yep. Quite out, kind of outsized there on the break. Yeah. Matt Haken kind of like quite a bit of height difference there. Kind of like me shooting over Matt Haken. That'd be the same thing. Or me over you. Yeah, it'd be yeah. similar. Similar. Although you'd probably make the shot, and I'd miss the block. <laughs> I don't know. Here's Nix. You'd probably follow me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just for the sport of it. Just, yeah, you you probably push me down hard. I know how you'd treat me. So Well, that's how it works, you know. Yep. Here's Bubba on the left wing. Gunderson. Gunderson into runs into Malden and is backed off. 13 seconds. Go for now, one shot period. there now. Jeff Zone says we're just gonna go for one shot here. Nine seconds. Bubba. Bubba Lost. got it back somehow. Got and Malden with a rebound, and Blake Johnson's going to have to fire one up and count, but no, <laughs> off the glass, no good. A three-quarter three shot there from the three-quarter mark, and so it's 63 to 48 here after three-quarters of play. So do you get paid to um, play in the band? Uh, I get Free popcorn. Free popcorn. Well, you got that yeah. right here. So that's You can't my beat pay. that. And it's a great time, a great yeah. enjoyment. There's a lot of great players over there. Oh, and man, I'm I bet. Finding out how bad how I'm bad. out of shape. <laughs> I wow, can believe those guys that. can play. You got plenty of air yet to play that I trumpet? I got air, but just no lip. Oh, really? You know, you have to really hold your lip tight to play that trumpet. Yep. So I was kind of running out of embouchure. Oh, yeah. That's what they call that, John, embouchure. Uh, really? It's how you hold your mouth against the horn. No kidding. So a flute has a certain way. A saxophone has a certain way. That's all news to Trumpet, me. Trumpet, you have that little mouthpiece. Yeah, right. You kind of make a quacking sound I, like. I played the cornet. Yeah, I played, can, the, I played the cornet. Yeah, so you know that. Yeah. You have an embouchure. Well, I didn't know I, I had you, that. I didn't know you had such an embouchure. <laughs> I did not know that. Until I heard first, you on the radio. That's the first I knew that I had that. I can't even <laughs> pronounce it. How in the it's, world... It means French for how you put your mouth. Here's a ball up from oh, Lucas. No, no good. good. Josh Hagen with the rebound. Decided to bring it back out. Jump back now. Now over to Hagen again. Nice pass in there to Caleb DeHart from Nagel. And DeHart finishes with two points. Wide open under the bucket for yep. Caleb. Nice pass by uh, Nagel to DeHart there. That's uh, what I like to see. Good basketball there. And them good passes. Yep, Bubba guarded by Caleb Terhark. Here's a three. Oh, there's going to be a travel call. Off. No good. Oh, they got a little baby here. Oh, that's just a doll. Oh. I thought somebody carried a Battery little... powered. Yeah, I thought it was a it's little baby. It's a little baby. girl carrying a little baby there. Yep. So I think it's only a doll. I think it's a doll. 65 48. Nagel with a shot from the free throw line. And Matt. Matt. With a good rebound, oh, but over the back. Oh, Matt Haken got picked on that for that foul there, so. 
Matt Haken with his third foul I have him down for. Yep. That's what the board has up there too, so. Caleb DeHart playing tough defense there in the backcourt. But finally they get it across into their front court here at Slake Park. Bubba. Bubba, nice oh, pass to Nix. Oh, what a nice pass by Blue Bubba the to bunny. Nix. Blue yep. the bunny shot. Haken over to uh, now Haken underneath puts the, oh, a travel on Haken. Turnover there, he <laughs> made the bucket, but they called him for travel before he released the ball, so no basket. 65-48 our score. Bubba coming down with the ball here now. Bubba Soon. Blake Johnson getting ready to check in for the Mustangs in the next dead ball. Oh, Back ball stolen there by Nagel. Yep, Lucas read it all the way. Yep, now the ball in Josh Haken's hands. Passes over to Nagel. Nagel at the free throw line, takes a nice pass to Jumbach. Jumbach spin around, puts a shot up, no good. And rebounded in the hands of uh, Trevor Gunderson. Gunderson going coast to coast, got cut off there by Nagel. Now the ball taken away, now the ball into Brett Sohn's hand, and Brett Sohn threw it ahead, out of bounds. He's going to throw it ahead to his brother Bubba, but just threw it right over Bubba's head, and Brett Sohn threw it out of bounds there now, belong to the Mustangs. We got, uh, what do we got, a sub? Somebody, oh yeah, Blake Johnson come in for uh, Josh Aiken. 6.14 left on the clock, 65-48 our score. Mustang's in control now. Nice little dribble there by Hope, and the ball tipped away by Brett Sohn, out of bounds, so still will be Mustang ball. Jaden Malden checking into the game for uh, Caleb DeHark. Caleb's had a good game here tonight, going to sit down here a little while, 6.09 to play here, 65-48. So Blake Johnson with the entry pass into uh, Malden. Malden put a shot up, no good. Rebounded by uh, Sohn and Matt. Haken picks up a fourth foul, I believe. Yes, it is. Matt Haken picked up his fourth foul. Four team fouls apiece. We got a timeout. George Little Rock Mustangs, a full timeout. We'll be back right after this. Deanna Peterson of Security Savings Bank, George. We are proud to be a local community bank with an emphasis on community. Our staff enjoys taking part in area events and helping with local activities. You too can show your community pride by using our spirit checks, featuring the George Little Rock Mustang logo. We also offer choice checking with no minimum balance and no service charges. Stop in today and become part of our community here at Security Savings Bank of Larchwood, Inwood, Canton, and George, member FDIC. This is Greg Hellinga of Security Savings Bank in George. The SSB team has had a great season, just like the George Little Rock Mustangs. SSB has assembled an all-star lineup of top performing products and services that will be hard to beat. Visit SSBIA.net or stop in at one of our locations, Larchwood, Inwood, Canton, or George, to see what one of our star players can do for you. Congratulations to the George Little Rock Mustangs and best of luck in tournament play. Member FDIC. <laughs> Hey, there we are, back uh, 6.04 to play here in the game here, 65-48 in favor of our Mustang boys. So it will be uh, Harris Lake Park's ball under our own George Little Rock basket here. So they got to go the length of the court. So Bubba, no problem, he gets her across the uh, division line in a big hurry. Over. Gunderson. Bubba oh, Bubba up. with a 24-footer again. No good there. Off the hands of uh, Jumbach. So it will belong to Harris Lake Park under their own basket here. That was an easy call, but somebody There's did. Alex oh, Nicks. a nice, and he blew that one. Nix with a nice, it. yep. And Nagel with a nice shot, no good. Nagel gets his own rebound, puts it back in. Nice job putting it off the glass. Yep. Bubba's going to take it right All the away. way, no good there. Harris Lake Park has had a little trouble putting some shots down here in the fourth quarter, and we're going to get a foul on the floor. Gunderson, that, I believe. 1-0. 1-0 is Gunderson. 
with his third foul of the night here. He got him for four up there, they do. Mm -hmm. A lot of fouls called in this contest yep. here. Josh Aiken passes over in the corner to Jaden Malden. Malden passes into Nagel. Nagel, a little spin around move. No good on the shot there. Rebounded by Brett Sohn. Sohn takes it all the way to the basket, and he's fouled on the way there by Malden. 26 fouls already in oh, this game. Oh, check that. That's going to be on Landon Jumbach. Landon Jumbach, huh? Must have reached around from behind. That's Landon's third, third according foul. to the, yep. the big board. Brett Sohn's free throw is good. 67-49. <laughs> Brett Sohn at the free throw line to shoot the uh, bonus one, and he makes that one too. So Brett Sohn with... Uh, Six points so far tonight here. Josh Aiken now with the ball. Passes over to uh, Nagel. Nagel driving into the lane. Passes back out to Jumbach. Jumbach will put up a three and count it for Jumbach there. Just an Wide. easy three. Wide open in yep. rhythm for Jumbach. Nice pass out there from Haken to Jumbach. And, oh, that ball got tipped by a George Little Rock boy. I don't know which one tipped it there, uh, Malden or uh, Johnson. But anyway, it will belong to Harris Lake Park. Bubba with the ball, puts her in play. Over to uh, number 23 is Einan. Back over to Bubba, way at the uh, free throw or at the center court line, Bubba was with the ball. Brett Sohn looked at a three. Oh. Just Einan. <laughs> just got run into by Brett Sohn, and now the ball taken away by Johnson. Johnson Play. going, oh, he fouled. That's an intentional foul. There you go. They called it. There you go. Intentional foul is a good call there by that official. They should send him right to the bus. Yep. There's no need for that. Nope. Just run right into him in the back and shoved him right into the wall. It's going to be two shots, and George Little Rock will have the ball. So that's uh, Man. Bubba Zone picks up an intentional foul. That wasn't even basketball. Nope. Great call, though, by the official. Free throw is up there and good for uh, Blake Johnson. Second free throw is up and good as well there. So now it'll be Mustang ball under our own basket here on that intentional foul call there. So 72-50, a 22-point lead here now for our Mustang boys. Caleb DeHart going out the door with the uh, coach. I don't know if he's uh, not feeling the best or what. He wasn't in the game and got hurt or anything. I know that. Oh, and there's a reach-in foul. Nothing called there. Malden with the ball. Passes over to Josh Haken. Josh oh. Haken passes. Oh, and a nice pass over there to Nagel, but they're letting him play a little bit there now. And Heinen, ball tipped. It goes to Gunderson. There's going to be a foul on the jump back there. Yep. Ball blocked, but Jumbeck. Jumbeck could be his fourth foul already. Might, might have committed his fourth there. Yep. Yes, it is. So that's going to put uh, number 10, uh, Gunderson, at the line to shoot two. Free throws up and good there for Gunderson. So uh, Gunderson get a chance to shoot another free throw, and that is no good. And I think Nagel, oh, maybe not. No, sir. They, oh, Brett Sohn tipped Brett it Sohn, out of bounds. Oh, okay. Brett Sohn got it, huh? Yep. Mustangs with the ball now. So Johnson with the ball. Ooh, Johnson nearly just nearly foot. traveled. Josh Aiken now with the ball. 3.33 to go here in the fourth quarter. 72-51. Malden with the ball, passes over to Josh Haken. Now Blake Johnson. Boy, Malden was wide open inside. Now they get it to Nagel inside, and Nagel puts it in for two. There's been a lot of, a lot of nice uh, passes in here tonight by Nagel and Malden and uh, Caleb and the whole team. Just good assist. Someone Aaron tries a three. No, no good. good. Blake Johnson gets the rebound, clears the glass. 
fouled on the way to the yeah. basket by Bubba yeah. Sohn. That might be his his last, I think. I'm not. No, it's his only his third. Third, third foul. So Matt Haken getting ready to come in as well as uh, Peyton Malden. So Jumback taking a seat and uh, Jaden Malden taking a seat there. 74 51, 255 to go there. Blake Johnson at the line. May make that free throw. He did. So Bubba's going to take a seat here. So Blake Johnson at the line here now to shoot one more free throw. No good there. Matt Haken got the hand on it, but it's still taken away there by Gunderson. <clears throat> Brett Sohn coming away with the ball. Magic Johnson with the ball. Magic over to Einan, driving baseline. Ooh, stay on the... Had to back away. Matt, Matt Haken. Haken with a big rebound there. Gets up high. He's got long arms, Matt Haken. Oh, it could have been a travel easily on <laughs> Hake, or, uh, Nagel. I had to had released the pass just in time. Mustangs will pull it out. They don't even need another shot this whole, no. this whole game, really. So Carson and Cole Stave getting ready to check into the game and their next dead ball for the Mustangs. Nagel with a nice pass to Haken, but Matt Haken was not looking for that. So Cole and Carson Stave checking into the game. Josh Haken taking a seat as well as uh, Lucas Nagel. So we got the Stave boys in now. Two minutes to go here. Two-minute warning here now. 75-51, favor of the Mustangs. El Batari over to Sohn. Sohn will drive baseline on And you're going to get a, and count the bucket on for Sohn, and I think he got fouled by probably 22. Yep, got fouled by Cole Stave there. <clears throat> so Brett Sohn with the bucket. And be at the free throw line to shoot one, and no good. Rebounded by Carson. Carson Stave. Matt Haken with the ball. Passes clear across court to Blake Johnson. Blake with a three-pointer. No good. Einan tracks it down in the corner. Brings it up. Someone will take it through the paint. Nice soft touch off the glass. And going to be a foul on um, Matt. On Matt Haken somehow. Yep, Matt Haken picks up... Uh, that's his fifth. He's out of the <laughs> Was that his fifth contest. foul? Nathan Klinkenberg and Jaden Klinkenberg set to check in. Yep. Matt getting a nice round of applause for a game well played. Yep. And Blake Johnson taking a seat there. So we got a couple Klinkenberg boys in there, Jaden and Nato. And HLP will bring in a wholesale substitution here. As soon as they can. It's, there's a lot of uh, time expiring here yeah. for this uh, substitution, but no harm done. A minute 31 left in the contest. We've got some fellows that aren't on the roster here so, into the uh, lineup. Brett Sohn at the line then makes that free makes throw. Makes the front end of a one and one opportunity. Yeah, I thought he was supposed to have a one-on-one, -on -one, yep. but everybody cleared the lane like it was over. Well, you but... got 12 new players out on the oh, court. Oh, yeah. Three so they... new officials and four new radio <laughs> announcers all at one time. Wow. The radio announcer, that's what's the problem, I think. <laughs> You're listening to GLR Radio Network here, Mustang Basketball. You are. Hey, oh, nice, play. nice, nice move there by uh, Cole Stave, and he <laughs> got nice fouled. But so Cole go to the line to shoot two. What a pass from Jaden Klinkenberg. Yes, Hit him in the really transition was. there. Kind of a late secondary break almost. And hey, a, nice shot there by Cole. Makes that free throw. That was a quick move to the bucket. Yep. Nice Dave. Cole Stave's second free throw is up and good as well. Gotta get them both to go. Nice free throw shooting there by Stave. Yep. Magic with the ball. Bubba's in the game yet there. 
Yeah, we got a few players that aren't in the list. Yeah. But I'm presuming they're uh, JV players some the, or something. I don't know. Yep, some of the future of the program here getting a yep. little play time. There's a nice shot up oh. off the glass. No good. Fella gets his own rebound, hands it out to Hicks again. We'll go to the three left point side. shot by number two. Nice rebound there by number 11, and uh, Nato just lets him go. He don't want to pick up a foul. So Nato with the ball, Klinkenberg bringing the ball down. Passes over to uh, Malden. Klinkenberg with the ball, passes over to Malden. Now into Carson State, Cole Stave, or Cole Stave with two points here. Good finish for Stave. Yep. Three ball on the way, but no good. Two. It's oh, it's good there for a friendly roll. Yep. Seven seconds. Mustangs will just hold on to it here. Seventy. Time expires. Seventy-nine fifty-nine is our score here. Mustangs win. So, uh, yeah, I want to thank you for listening. And tomorrow night we're going to be at MOC, but we got to pick a Pizza Ranch Impact Player of the Game here. You're listening to Mustang Basketball on the GLR Radio Network. Stay tuned for the Pizza Ranch Impact Player of the Game. You're listening to Mustang Basketball on the GLR Radio Network. Stay tuned for the Pizza Ranch Impact Player of the Game. still with us we're working on the pizza ranch impact player of the game and our um, final score 79 59 at the end of regulation play here and this is an example of one of those nights you could pick a number of different Ooh. fellas for the for the impact player you got that right i mean a lot of these guys made some good passes you know and to, to help the other guy get the points he got yeah. you know he wouldn't have had those points and it's just a tough 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 one to pick here tonight. Well, we got and three guys in double figures. Jaden yep. with 10. Lucas with 26, leading all scorers tonight. And uh, Caleb Terhark with 15. With 15. And uh, I think I think you said it earlier, Lucas had a really hot hand, and he distributed the ball well, yes, took care he did. of it well. He didn't commit a lot of fouls. I think he only had one foul called against him. I think he's got to be our Pizza Ranch Impact player tonight. Okay, sounds good to and, me. Uh, Lucas Nagel, Pizza Ranch Impact you, player of the you game. You could definitely say... Uh, you could pick any of the yeah, four or could, five people out, you know. <laughs> yeah. You could say Blake Johnson, great job. One one foul committed on a tough assignment. He was guarding a very fast young player in Bubba Sohn. Oh, who yeah, ended up right. With 17 points. Yeah. Trevor ended up with 10, Trevor Gunderson. And then the rest was pretty even. Caleb Hicks had seven. It looks like Isaac had seven, Isaac Einan, and then Brett Sohn had nine. Uh, but Bubba led all of the HLP Wolves with 17 points. But, again, mm -hmm. Lucas led all scorers with 26 points yep. tonight. And he is our Pizza Ranch Impact Player of the Game. So uh, congrats off to, to uh, Lucas Nagel. And uh, remind our listeners who our girl Pizza Ranch player was. Do you remember? I remember who it was. It was, um, we give it to Mackenzie Post. Mackenzie with 25, Mackenzie, five, 25 points. 25 points. Right. Yep, so, right. Great job by Mackenzie and by Lucas. They each ended up with 25 points, yep. respectively. Yep, I, I think Lucas had 26. 26. Yep, so well, that's L Lucas outdid Mackenzie by one point. Lucas, but, you're, uh, you're uh, outdoing. Mackenzie, good job. Yeah, any, in right. any case, great job by our by both squads teams, both tonight. teams, yeah, by the girls and the boys team. Why they played the nice ball games here tonight, and want to congratulate them and the coaches on the victories. 
Yes, and as you said, tomorrow night we will be in Orange City yep. for a, a ball game against the MOC Floyd Valley Dutchman. And just a reminder, usually at MOC, the internet is not very good. Oh, yes. So if you lose us, yes. it's... I don't it's know. It's not because we're not trying. That's if we're you trying lose the best us, we not, can. Not because we're not trying. So, we will be on the air if the creek don't rise, and with any luck at all, around between six and six fifteen, yep. we'll bring G you the game. live ball action. It'll start at six fifteen to tip off for the girls varsity. Yep. Followed by the boys varsity. This will be Siouxland Conference basketball. Yep. And. Uh, I think, I think this is the second time now this teams have faced, isn't yes, it? Yes, that's right. We, we played them the first game of the year, I believe it was, almost. At least yep. the girls, anyway. Is yep. that correct? Yep, you're right. So uh, it'll be the first time the boys have faced the, the Dutchman. Yep. And we look forward to a great contest of basketball, and we hope you'll join us. If you like what you're hearing on the network, tell a friend or two. If you don't like what you're hearing, tell somebody you don't like that much. Yeah, that's right. So tune us in. And we'll do our best to bring you the live action here on the GLR Radio Network. Try to do our best is right. So, um, yep, um, we'll see you tomorrow night then. Good night, everybody. Good night. GLR Radio.